Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to the stream. Today, we're going to be going on a new journey. We finished up Minecraft for the most part, and I had considered that we would continue a different mod pack of Minecraft. Which, uh, I actually looked into it last night, and I found this one called, I think it was Whitecraft or something like that. And uh, I was like, I could play that. Spent a little bit of time tinkering with it. But, I also thought of another game, and so I flipped a coin to come up with which one to play. So, we did not choose Minecraft, but Seven Days to Die. And that is what we will be playing today. Seven Days to Die. Now, for those of you who don't know, Seven Days to Die is a zombie survival type game. And I gotta say, it's arguably the best zombie survival game that you can probably get your hands on, uh, to be completely honest. Uh, honestly, I don't really remember many other zombie survival type games. Uh, I mean, you have like Left 4 Dead, which is less survival and more just like first person shooter, stuff like that. And there's like Call of Duty Zombies, which is just, you know, a first person shooter, zombie horde survival kind of thing. Um, there's also They Are Billions, but that's an RTS and not really, like, survival looter kind of thing. Seven Days to Die is just magnificent. Ah, oh, so magnificent. So let's go ahead and start it up, shall we? We'll, we'll go over initializing the uh, beginning of the game and all that good stuff. And let me actually zoom myself in here a little bit, get a little more comfortable. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, I've been playing Seven Days to Die for years. And uh, basically, since it has been released, when it first came out, I got it and I was like, yes, play some. And, and uh, Go here. We have all these options when we create a new game. We're just gonna do a basic, uh, small world size. I'm gonna use the plag seed here. You can go into advanced generation to kind of specify different things to make a different unique map. It takes a while to do though, so we're not gonna do that. Um, as for the various settings here, general, you're gonna see the 24 hour cycle, basically an hour is a day. Um, we have the, the basic information, which is the blood moon frequency, which is when zombies like get stronger and will attack your base. And you can set it to various things, uh, but keeping with the seven days to die tradition is going to be seven days. Uh, you also get warnings for it. You get a blood moon range, which we're going to leave default. One thing we're going to change is the uh, feral speed. Actually, no, we're gonna leave that to sprint. I thought run was faster than sprint, but never mind. We're gonna be running at us. Only thing we're gonna change on this screen right now is the XP modifier, which gives us 150 uh, experience. Because 100 is the default, but I figure since we are playing and streaming, I'll go ahead and increase a little bit so we're not just tediously grinding away at nonsense. Like that. And it goes up to like 300, so we're not gonna go up that much. On the, the advanced settings, we have, of course, the player block damage, which is like when you're attacking items, stuff like that. It's used for like digging and destroying doors and stuff, and it defaults at, of course, 100%. I'm going to change it to 175%, uh, just because I don't want to have an issue where we're spending like hours just mining through something, right? I want us to be able to go through pretty quickly. Um, then we have the AI block damage and all that loss. Uh, um, I actually had loot abundance by default set up like higher, but we're gonna leave it at 100%. And I'll get into that why later. We have loot respawn time, defaults to seven days. I'm just gonna set it to five just so we have more, you know, fine. Drop on death or drop on everything. You can change it to only your tool belt or your backpack or delete everything. We're gonna just leave it on everything, just drops. Blood moon count defaults to eight enemies, which is is it the number of zombies that can be alive spawned at the same time at any time per player during the Blood Moon Horde? However, max zombie spawns override this number. Multiple. Please note if your game stage sets the max number of parties every party, 
Oh well, yeah. So yeah. You can kind of just read that for yourself. Here. We're gonna increase this actually. We'll go to 12. 12 zombies per blood moon. It does go up to like 64, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna leave it at 12. Enemy spawning is of course on. Airdrops every three days. I'm gonna have marked airdrops because I don't like having to hunt for them. Multiplayer stuff doesn't matter because it's gonna be uh, just me anyway. So. Let's find random world already exists. So. I have to like change. I guess if you have the same seed. Wait. Have I used Plague the thing before? But we'll do that. Alright, there we go. Everything's there, you can see. That's what we're starting with, so let's start the game. It might take a little bit to uh, generate terrain and all that. That's fine. So as you can see, we're going through this uh, up here. Now, the reason that I decided to leave loot at 100% uh, value is because I get really lucky in this game. Among the friends that I would play with, it was known that I was like really lucky at the game. Okay. And uh, I would like find very good handguns and toilets and stuff like that. And I, I would like find chainsaws and augers and all this crazy stuff that the rest of them would be finding like normal gear and I'd be finding like awesome gear. And throughout the game, iterations, I've gotten less lucky just due to certain limitations. As uh, early on, there used to be no skill trees um, and stuff like that. Whereas now it has a skill called Lucky Looter, which increases your luck to loot things. So it's kind of dependent upon that skill, what you loot, to an extent. Not necessarily completely all that, but yeah. Kind of how it be. One thing I forgot to check was the difficulty settings. I wonder if I can change that in-game. We'll see. Luckily, we only have to generate the terrain once. Every time afterwards, we'll go in here faster. And uh, if the world would have been a bigger size, then we would have been definitely sitting here a lot longer. So, yeah, but... But yeah, I played since the game released, and it is still in alpha. I think it's like alpha 21 right now, but I've been playing since early on. The last time I actually played, the last update, uh, I think they added the like helicopter things and vehicles. That was the last one I played. Some extra stuff has come out since then, so I figured we'd check it out and uh, just kind of see how it goes. Oh, it's fun. I'm curious how much longer it's going to be in Alpha. It's already been like five years or more, I think. I don't really remember, but I remember playing it off and on. Like every time there'd be an update, I'd be like, all right, let's start some more. Last update was on July 29th, 26th, something like that. But it was just a small bug fix update. It didn't really add anything. That's fine. All right. We should be getting here pretty quick. All right. Music's dying out, which means we should be getting in here, right? Oh. Maybe. It's working on it because it's uh, taking time to go through the tool tips at the bottom. I've clicked and it's not progressing, so building environments use the last thing it does. Okay. Right as always. Basics of survival. And the game's paused here, so we can do this real quick. The wasteland can be an unforgiving place. Found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed the Duke. 
in a bad way and you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, you just might have a new citizen. White River Settlement. Real and it's safe. Peace be with you, friend. No one. All right. Basic survival is your active quest. The quest status is displayed on the opt objective tracker in the top right of your screen. For more information on quests, uh, you access your inventory and navigate to the quest menu. Okay. First of all, sensitivity is way too high. Let's change that. Controls, look sensitivity. Let's drop that down to about 25. How about that? Um, also, zoom sensitivity. Let's drop that a little lower as well. And, uh, Okay, go back and wait. There's a Twitch thing here. Well, I can do Twitch integration if I wanted to. Uh, video. I'm actually gonna I think drop the quality down just a little bit here to high, and then also disable depth of field and motion blur completely. There we go. Because I hate both of those things. Okay, now how we feeling? How we doing? Huh? All right. I think it's still a little bit too fast for my taste. Back to controls. Uh, look sensitivity. Let's drop that down to like 14. How about that? Oh, much smoother, much perfecter. Okay. So, we got this little book thing. If we use it. Hold on, I'm relearning the controls here. Okay, so we have this inventory crafting menu, a newt from the Duke, which we already read. So, as you can see, there's a number of different things here. We have our inventory, we have our map here, which it'll fill in once we learn stuff or explore around. We have our stats page, which we have a variety of different skills. We'll get into when we level up. We got our current quest, which is basic survival, and it'll kind of go through a little bit of a tutorial. We also have our journal, which gives you the here and then there's a party which uh, we had you know stuff like that doing it so we'll go ahead and just start looting what takes all the take all is R there we go all right like I said it's gonna take me a moment to you know fully hold on one sec the game is hesitating a little bit why is that Ah, right. So with VTube Studio, I think the uh, game is fighting that is doing that shit itself here. So let me go ahead and adjust the up here to zero or medium, mm -hmm. medium graphics. Like that okay? Now we should be a little bit better, I think, potentially. GPU is still getting pretty high, but we'll go ahead and just grab some plant fiber because we'll need it. You can also punch trees, which will give us a little bit of wood here, but I think right now the best option would be to find smaller little bush things and destroy those to get wood. A little more efficient like these, not those, we get wood. You get it quicker than having to punch the tree like 80 times. So we'll grab some of that. And now if we go into our... Is it tab? Yeah, it's tab. We can make a bedroll. Pardon me while I relearn the... So we can drag this down to our tool belt here at the bottom of the screen. And then we can go around and place our bedroll there. Let's see. Easy peasy. And squeezy. All right, so now that we've done that, it wants us to now gather small stones, which we just find around laying here. That. And now it wants us to craft a stone axe. So we'll go ahead and craft that real quick, like. Okay. Now it wants us to craft plant fiber pants and stuff. We'll do that. And we can just, uh, I think, how do we get yeah, be there? do that and now we have a little bit of clothing on next we want to craft a wooden club for a weapon so we'll do that that there 
toss this claim block out because it doesn't matter. Same with that note. Okay, so now we want to gather a little more wood. So we can use this stone hatchet we made to better destroy the tree and get ourselves a little more wood. And I'll actually chop this entire tree down here quick. And you know, I'm, I'm still not liking the uh, fact that it's stuttering sometimes. Let's go with uh, just completely lower our settings to low. Let's go to low. Uh, perfect, motion blur and all this stuff's already off. Excellent. We'll do this. It doesn't look as pretty, sure, but it still plays fine. I'm just gonna grab this cotton. There we go. All right, so take down the tree. Got us a bunch of wood. We got some pine cones that we can use to plant a little later. For now, we're gonna make a bow and a arrow. And get a couple of arrows first time you make it, I think. Nope, you only get one? Okay, fine. Anyway, we'll take the bow, put it down here. Now we have a, a bow to use. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my bedroll, because I don't have it there quite yet. Now we need to craft and place wooden frames. We'll go ahead and craft one for now. Then place it on the ground and do the tutorial, because we get experience for doing it. We need to use the axe here in order to uh, build it up. Now we'll go ahead and find some stones. Stone. I'm gonna attack this stump because sometimes you can get honey, which is helpful for I think it's food and stamina. We have a rare chance of getting it. Unfortunately, we didn't get any there, but that's fine. Grab some rocks here. Okay, now we can build our campfire. This is the place to cook food and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but really, it doesn't matter right now for us. So we're just going to place it down. And now our objective is to locate a trader. Good job, Survivor. You've proven capable with much potential. You have marked your map the nearest White River Outpost location. There you'll find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. Well, simple as that. Uh, we do now have a skill point, however, we can spend. Um, we have a couple of skill points, actually. And this really dictates how you're going to play the game. So we have Perception, which gives us combat perks. Um, you can... Uh, raises the headshot bonus, dismemberment chance with spears, rifles, uh, stuff like that. We have lock picking, um, infiltrator, which is faithless damage from traps, animal tracker, you can detect animals and stuff like that. We also have the lucky looter, the treasure hunter, and the salvage operations one. Lucky looter is what gives you a higher chance of getting better loot. It adds a 5% loot bonus to containers, and looting is 10% faster. So it really helps if you're going around Looting a lot of stuff. Treasure Hunter, on the other hand, um, you'll see for every seven blocks you dig up, the treasure radius is reduced, and that helps with the treasure hunting mission. We also have the strength attribute, which helps us with you know stuff like shotgun damage, uh, melee damage, of course. We have the sexual Tyrannosaurus, uh, Tyrannosaurus, uh, which basically is just your stamina regen and reducing uh, how much stamina you actually use. Better use with heavy armor, you can carry more stuff without being penalized, you can, you know, have basic cooking, stuff like that. Minor 69er allows you to craft higher quality tools and do more block damage and stuff like that. And of course, mother load, which um, you harvest more uh, stuff from, or stone, terrain blocks, trees, that kind of stuff. Then we have the medical supplies, which uh, gives you the brawler perk, which is Unarm, something like that. Uh, we have machine gunners. We have huntsmen, which is harvest more resources from animals. Well insulated, keeps us warm and the right body temperature, basically. Living off the land, you harvest better stuff from wild crops and seeds. Pain tolerance, uh, you're tough. You don't have a glass jaw. It reduces your HP loss, which is great, and reduces your chance of getting stunned. 
healing factor. Um, it means that you gain one health every 90 seconds with natural healing, which is very helpful considering right now you don't have a natural healing and you have to rely on like bandages and stuff. Iron gut means you have a less chance of food hurting you and stuff like that. Uh, and you have less like water and food loss from doing stuff. And then cardio means you can sprint for longer because your stamina regen uh, increases while you're sprinting. Like that. And of course you have the agility, which as you would expect is stuff like archery, uh, small arms, running, doing like a bunch of melee stuff real quick, light armor, parkour, which uh, basically falling reduces damage? No. Increase safe fall distance by a meter and reduce stamina cost of jumping. Yeah, so hidden strike is stealth stuff. And then we have the intellect perk, which comes into play for bartering, uh, making machines. You can see grease monkey down here is for crafting uh, bicycles, mini bikes, stuff like that. Uh, and then we have the perk books here, which we can get through looting and stuff. So right now, what we really want to kind of get is Spectral Tyrannosaurus, just to have that extra um, uh, stamina, something like that. I think it would also be helpful to have a bit of a healing factor, but I'm not going to get that right now. Run and gun, no, let's see. I'm going to take Lucky Looter and let's see. What was Salvage Operator? Craft better quality tools, deal more damage. Harvest faster and gain more resources eventually. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get Junk Collector as well. Um, I have one more point available right now. And that is the question. Craft better clubs, deal more damage, have a chance to stun. Power attacks have a better chance for that. Um, right now. I'm not sure what I want right now, but I think I might go cardio just so we have that better stamina handling when it comes to running around. So if we look at our map right now, and you can see that we don't really have much here. Uh, there are some, some white little squares on the map, which indicate that there are buildings over here. So first of all, we're just going to go take a look at this building, see what we can find, kill any zombies we meet. Uh, that way we will That'd be good. Oh. And keep in mind, this is a completely like generated, a randomly generated map. So there's going to be some stuff that doesn't necessarily look right, like this raised stuff here. Um, doesn't necessarily look right in the uh, area, but that's okay. So sometimes you can have doors that are unlocked, some are locked. Uh, actually, I think I increased my brightness a little too much. Now that I'm looking at things. Uh, display, brightness. I think it's default. What's default? 50? Yeah. Okay. Brightness was really like way too bright there. So I'm going to take these wooden chairs because the wooden chairs you can break down into um, wood. Easy to do. We're just going to basically right now just loot everything. Everything we can get our hands on that is a lootable object, we're going to loot. Okay, even this little trash can here, we're going to loot it. There is an upstairs, but let's clear... Oh, hey. So, during the day, it's not too bad when it comes to zombies. They're pretty slow-moving, not too bad. There are some zombies that are exceptions. Some will, like, actually sprint at you a, little, a lot more, try to kill you here. But during the day, it's pretty calm, as long as you're not on a a harder difficulty or makes the settings that, you know, launch it to do crazy stuff. Um, blood out there. Okay, toilet, what do you got for me? You got some paper, I'll take that. Okay. Bottom is clear. Let's go up top. And this is just a burned house, so there's not going to be necessarily much good loot in here. But there's still the possibility that we find some okay stuff. Got a zombie out there. I heard another one here, so definitely gonna be one right there, okay, lady. Okay, she's dead. So also, you can sometimes find loot behind these portraits. 
So you want to kind of smash them back. No? All right. I don't think we're going to find much else in here. This just also leads outside. Kind of a weird house, to be honest. But that's all right. So let's look what we found first of all. Because I know we have this uh, guide to archery, which uh, learn this trick to safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. So you can recover bolts, essentially. But what we're also going to do is just scrap all the stuff that we don't necessarily need right now. Um, this tin scrap, that scrap. We have a hat, which we'll wear for right now. I think everything else we're basically going to hold on to. We could scrap the paper, but we can also use that to trade and get some stuff. There's also recipes that we can use with a uh, bone. We can use five bones to make a bone knife which will help us to grab stuff. But for now, we're just going to loot everything we can and move on. So I think this is everything that we got. This wooden chair. Oh, and the trash bin we almost missed. There's a lead pipe. Excellent. So lead pipes come into play a lot later, but for now, we're just going to break it down to get the, the raw materials from it. Really all we need. Also, probably scrap that chair while we're at it. Now we can just go back down here. Here, okay. So looking at the map, there was uh, another house. Oh, the white dots are not maps. Never. What are the white dots? I've forgotten. Go up here. What is it? Oh, is it this? Yeah, it's this. Okay. So this is a, a resource node. If we get this and we start like hammering away at it, it's going to give us some uh, nitrate, or potassium nitrate, I think is what it is, which we can use for antibiotics or making gunpowder. Uh, if you mix it with coal, it makes gunpowder. You also really want to check bird nests, because they'll give you a source of arrows uh, with the feathers, and then, of course, if they have eggs in it, you can make those into food. Very nice. So we'll just keep pressing on for now. And as you can see, I'm running here a little bit, and it's... Uh, Great on my stamina. You gotta be careful with that when you get uh, a little bit further in the game or like in dangerous areas because the zombies will really mess you up you have stamina because you do less damage as well. And you can't swing as fast, you can't run away. So it's real kind of rough, you know. I think I got some meat there, the charred meat. I mean, it's going to drain your water, but it'll increase your stuff. We don't have any reason to eat it yet, so we're just going to hold on to it. That was some rotten meat I picked up there. Bad. Get more rotten meat. All right. And water cooler. You got a bottle of water. Nice. All right, so that's a locked chest. We can't do much there. For now, let's go ahead and scrap this stuff. A rotting flesh we're just going to throw out. Grab those tin cans. Perfect. We're good. All right. So let's continue searching this area. It's a pretty simple house. Not really anything too crazy in here. One's unlocked. We got another guy there. Sometimes zombies will look like they're dead, or they're playing dead, or they're sitting on the ground, something like that, or sleeping. Kind of got to watch out for them because sometimes you'll be thinking that, oh, they're, they're just dead. Walk right past one, he'll get up and just start munching at your ankles. We got a big guy, he's a little bit tougher than the others. A little bit. Like I said, behind the portraits, sometimes you'll find good loot. So we'll loot this, and we got a uh, to drink there, so that's nice. We got a nice bottle of water, which will get us some murky water there. Let's continue going up. Staircase. So as you can see, there was a couple zombies behind that closet. What you call it? Oh, I'm lagging there. So you always want to focus on the zombies that do a lot more damage to you. So like that guy in the yellow shirt was still standing while this one was downed. So. Basically, I wanted to focus on him. When I was standing, it could still attack me, as opposed to 
the other one right there. Of course, we got another sports bag here. Some more stuff. Let's see, we had a tool there, which will come in handy. Anything behind this one? Nope. That's fair. Unlock one here. Okay. Oh, hey there, lady. Now, there are some special zombies that we'll encounter later. And I'll get into them when we find them. But it's not just all these zombies who are like unintelligent and whatnot and all that stuff. But anyway, you'll encounter crates like this. You can use, you'll have to open them first. So we'll open the crate up and we'll find this like cardboard box and we can open it. And that'll give us our, our good loot, essentially. This stuff is a steroid, which increases your running capacity, carrying capacity for a duration of 10 minutes, but it also makes you thirsty. So I'm actually going to take this wooden club that I got that's higher grade, scrap this wooden club there. Um, I'm going to take this wooden bow that's better than mine, scrap that wooden bow. Got to move stuff around here. Get rid of that rotten flesh, scrap these chairs. We have some steel club parts, so if we had a steel club we could uh, add this to it to make it a better thing, I guess. Um, Painkillers are helpful because they'll increase your health if you drink them, or eat them, I should say. Let's go ahead and repair that wooden club. We'll repair the bow as well, just while we're at it. Let's see here. Can I make arrows? I cannot. I need more stone, which we don't have right now. That's fine. So, I'll just continue looting this. And ooh, we have a padded hood. So let's take all that. Some more ammunition down here. Medical supplies here. We have water and we have a destroyed workbench, which will get us some steel. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. This house was pretty good. So we have a leg splint, but that doesn't really matter much. I'm just going to scrap it right now. We have a larger tank for chainsaws and augers. Very good if I needed that. We'll wear that and just scrap that helmet there. We'll scrap those, put that there. Okay. We're getting some stuff. Where is my hunger and thirst levels? Where do I see that at again? Food, not bad. Water, we could. We can sip a little bit of water. Let's take the yucca juice down here and the meat down here, and I can free up those two spaces there. Um, so right now, I was how much? I'm down 20 food and 20 water. This gives me 15 food, so I'll go ahead and eat this real quick. It'll also give me a tin can back, which I can then scrap. I can move this down here. Also, actually, I'm not going to eat this sham sandwich. I'm going to drop it because it decreases my health. Bad. Also, this med kit was a great find. Like, it, it'll basically restore my health to full no matter how bad I am at this point. Um, it increases a lot of water. I'll use this yucca juice. And I can move some other stuff around here. Um, let's move down the painkillers that up there. Aloe cream will increase your health, or give you health. What else can I drop right now? Well, I think I'll just put the shotgun shells down there, just so I can faster. I think that's everything in this area. So we will go ahead and leave. Where is there's the trash can? Also, walking over trash and stuff like this can create noise, which will cause zombies to wake up or be attracted to you. Don't have a lot on the map here. That's all right. I guess we can just head towards this trader and kind of see what happens. Actually, one thing I want to do quick. Well, let's, let's exit. I want to see if I can change the difficulty. To go to basic. Oh, here it is. So yeah, okay. Adventurer is easy. So there's a 
six levels. There's Scavenger, which is easiest. Adventure, which is uh, normal. Uh, or easy, I should say. This one's normal, Nomad. And you got Hard, which is Warrior. Survivalist, which is Hardest. Or Harder, sorry. And then Insane, which is Hardest. Well, that's what it goes. So I think we'll actually increase it up to Survivalist. Uh, just because we, we seem to be doing a little bit too well against the Zomboids. Sure, we did take a little bit of damage there, but... That's because lag got us. We'll just be going on, loading back into the game, and it shouldn't take too long, like I said. We'll take a little bit, a couple of seconds here, but that's all right. It's not going to take as long as the last time. Currently, we're at difficulty five, which is harder. We're not going all the way up to insane quite yet. We might if things get a little bit too easy, you know, but let's we'll see. All right. Let's continue our way. We're just going to kind of head towards this trader and loot whatever we can that's nearby. If we see another house, we'll detour there. Let's see if I can get some honey from this. Oh, look, a rabbit. If I had more arrows, I might try to kill it. Ask for now. What is this? That's just iron? Yeah, it's just iron. All right. While we have a uh, individual zombie here, let's kick them down. So if it's one-on-one, -on -one, you pretty much are always guaranteed to win against a zombie. Uh, they're not too hard to deal with. It's great, because if they were hard to deal with, it'd be a huge pain. But I'm going to grab some rocks while we're... If I can spot them. There's one. The rocks will allow us to craft more arrows, which will come in handy later. Okay, so we got this car. Ooh, we got some... Uh... Mechanical parts. And we got a hammer. That is great. That hammer will allow us to break stuff down a little more and build stuff faster. But as you can see, as long as you, you know, back up and don't worry too much about the, the zombies. You don't have a bunch of zombies coming at you or a zombie behind you. You can avoid most of them. It's very nice. As you can see, I took a little bit of damage there. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this aloe, which will free up an inventory slot. There we go. Okay. Look at that bunny standing up. Let's check this car out. We got a tin can. Lovely. I'll go ahead and just scrap that. I'll also scrap these nails. Lead pipe. And can I scrap these? No, I cannot. Okay. Fine. Grab a couple more stones here. I'm just sort of. Is that hole? <laughs> nice. Looks like we're coming up to a town here. Get that is that'd be nice we can loot a lot more stuff so okay how are we looking all the side roads there but that's fine. the towns are both good and bad uh, because of course there's going to be a bunch of loot in them there's also going to be a lot of zombies but we will take out as long as we can and get experience to level up so, also one thing to note about houses and stuff like that is they have zombie spawns in them. So if you clear out a house uh, and go around it, there are certain spawn points in the houses that the zombies will be in. And if you go away and like come back uh, after a certain amount of time, the zombies will be there again. Because they've respawned, you know, kind of like loot, whatnot. So we got a construction site over there. Because I see a back, oh, not back, oh, a uh, excavator. All right, let's see. Stone arrow, max crap. I'll give us seven arrows for now. You can also loot these tires if you pack them, but I don't want to fill up my inventory with tires right now because I don't have a use for them. 
Come on. I got a battery from that. Okay. Try to beat this guy up. Once he's dead, I should be able to pull that arrow out of him. Go. Yep, and I can get the arrow back. Oh. That's one thing that arrows are nice about, is you can collect them back. Um, how am I doing on experience here? Do I have a way to see my experience? Oh yeah, it's the purple bar at the top. Right, right, right. So we need a little more. That's all right. All right. Now that we're in town, we have a couple of choices here. Um, it is getting kind of late. Right now it's 4 o'clock, and once we get to, like, 7, it's going to start getting us to be uh, to the point where the zombies are going to start running and stuff, which is not ideal uh, to be in a position like that. But what we could do is we could set up shop in one of the houses here that we would clear, and then... And just spend the night there sorting out our stuff and stealthily um, clearing out the surrounding areas as well. So we might actually do that. Ooh, what's this? Footwear. Everyone needs good shoes. Learn to craft a variety of good looking and versatile footwear. Go ahead and use that. Is this door open? It's locked. Okay. What about the back door? Most places have a back door, so sometimes you can get away with not using the front door, but using the back door, which is also locked. What about this? This is unlocked. I heard a zombie just now. Right there. Okay. The zombies are dumb. They will not necessarily walk around and go to the easiest path, but they'll try to, like, take this down. And you can see he's doing a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. So we can actually come over here. Just shoot him. Also, them attacking walls will lure other zombies around. So something you gotta watch out for. Like I said, with multiple zombies, it gets a little bit harder. up here. Before we go down there, though, I do want to repair this club. This one as well. I need stones for that, actually, don't I? Right, that's fine. All right. Let's go down here and see what we got. I'm actually going to crouch. So, in this house, we're going to have to be careful because zombies can just fall from above. And also, there's not necessarily going to be a way to get up top. We'll just look around for now. Right now, I'm crouching to... Crap, really? There we go. Got him. Excellent. Get my arrow back. Okay. Oh, another burn zombie. We get him? Oh, he didn't die though. Okay. That. Bad. The burn zombies do a lot of damage, if I remember correctly. So it can be rough dealing with them. But you notice I'm not looting things right now. I'm gonna try to clear this house out first and then we can move on to looting. I'm gonna be careful here. I think we can go over here and jump across this. Door's unlocked, so we can jump in there. Oh, hey, zombie. Yes. Well, there is one sleep in there still. We'll take him out. Okay. One more shot ought to do him. Dead crap. I can hit him from here. He's just gonna attack that, so we can just go around this side real quick. 
So try to come back over here so we can hit him again with an arrow. And he's still not dead. Oh, he just started running. Is he a feral? Dang. Not expecting that. All right. So he did make a lot of noise. So I'm thinking that every zombie who would be awake should be awake now. Or who is here should be awake now. So let's double check that theory quick. Yeah, so this is all that house was. Got some old trash in there. Oh, crap. Fall down. There we go. Got him. All right. Easy. Let us continue looting this place now. Oh, there's another place up higher. Or show oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's another zombie. Okay. We've got a couple of coats here. And if we put one on, we can compare it. That one's not better, so we're going to go with that. Um, let's see. Grab that. I'm going to grab brought these chrysanthemums because they suck. All right. Trash. Got some cobblestone. We can use that to build things. Now let's go up, I guess. Careful. Carefully. Check this side first. Okay, no zombies chill up there. Kind of hesitant to walk on that. Because I, I jumped and it shot me over this way. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. I forget what time night actually fully sets in. But it should be happening any moment now. Is it 20? Is there any reason for me to be up here? Let's see. How about that area? There we go. There's the loot. You can jump around and do that, but I'm not going to waste my time. Savage Country Sealed Shipping Crate. Not familiar with that building, but we got some advanced muffled connectors. I don't know what those are. Can I scrap them? I can. I think I'll scrap those. I wish I could scrap these steel club parts. That'd be nice. But, sadly, I don't think I can. Okay, medical supplies. Blood bag. Um, it's really only used for crafting stuff, but I'll, I'll take it for right now. Ooh, we got a couple of steel arrows and another primitive bow. We'll scrap that primitive bow, take the steel arrows. Ooh, we got a uh, Bunker Buster mod, which does more damage against stone if we were to equip it to a pickaxe. Uh, sadly, we don't have a real use for that right now. Also got a Bone Shiv and some more ammo for that. Perfect. Also, you can break down this stuff as well, which will give you some, like, I'm getting plastic from it, for example. And if we do this one, we get cobblestone. It's a sack of rocks, basically. Okay. So we've basically salvaged everything that's up here. Let's go back to the house and we can loot it and kind of set up shop. Down the ladder, please. There we go. Okay. We can also, for the bed, get ourselves some wood and metal. Go ahead and just destroy this door. Better view out there. All right. More medical supplies. I'll take those. Bandages are always helpful. In can. Got some water. Oh, I could have looted those clothes. I don't know why I attacked them. These are just gonna be metal. Night is rapidly approaching. 
when it does, you'll be in trouble. Come over here and jump across that. I think there was a picture frame somewhere around here, wasn't there? Right there. Can I make this jump? Maybe if I was a little bit better, hold on. All my stamina needs to catch up. While it's catching up, I can look at my inventory here and scrap some more stuff. Throw away that rotten meat. Uh, I could scrap these iron arrows and get iron for them. I don't necessarily need them right now. What do we got that I can make? Uh, I can make some more stone arrows. Might as well do that quick. I've got to free up an inventory space of arrows. And then one nice thing is you don't have to leave your inventory open to craft things. You can just uh, walk around and they'll auto craft while you're moving. Here's some zombies hissing down there. Not great. What was that? Oh, that. I think you can find stuff in there. Pass and gas. We could find some gas and stuff in here. Oh, I need to repair this. Uh, repair. Go. What do we got? We have a gas can recipe, which is nice. So let's go ahead and use that. And we also got some oil, which I'll just take for now. Oh, just trash, I forgot. So right now, the safest place for us is just right here. Dylan, this night is approaching very rapidly. All right, as you can hear, there's zombies making noise up there. I think they're trying to get in and attack us. Crap that. Crap those two. How am I doing on food and stuff? About a 50% food. How's this work? 15, let's go ahead and use that. Grab that tin can. That'll get me to 60 food. Let's use this one as well. I can drink some boiled water. Okay. I'm gonna move the bone shift down here, I think. I have anything else to eat, it looks like. I will turn this cotton into cloth. Let's make a secure storage chest. We'll put it down over here. Okay. Let's store everything that we don't really need right now into this. We want the hammer still. We want the lock picks, med kit. Bandages. Your stuff moving. Like it. All right. This is what I'll keep for now. Right. Don't think I need anything else quite yet. I can wander down there. Okay. Reload the bow. Reload, let me just put an arrow in it here. 
So now think about it, I think it's 22 is when the knight fully falls. We got a couple of seconds here. Maybe a minute. Four. This lady. We come running. We go. She's down. Excellent. Hurt myself a little bit in the process, but that's okay for right now. I think I'll just harvest this stuff right now. I think it just turned nice. I'm gonna close that. I'm just gonna creep back to my den here. You can see when I'm crouching, there's a uh, eye symbol over on the left there. Anything in here? Nothing really. Okay. Let's store the rest of the stuff there. The eye. The lower it is, the better in terms of visibility for me. So right now it's at three. But I'll start moving. It'll increase a bit. Eight, nine. All right. We don't necessarily need to be this cautious, but it does help. Also, I'm going to fill my bedroll here for right now. Go. Nope. That way I will respawn there if I do happen to die. So. Not something I want to have happen, but it is something that could possibly happen. Oh. That guy shouldn't pull aggro. Crap. Missed that shot because he moved his head. That. It's gonna take me a moment to get used to the bow again. Got him. He fell. But as you can see, he's running now. Alright, we got him. That's how fast they run right now. Let's check out this construction site here. Anytime we loot something, it makes noise, so they could also hear us and wake up if we do that. We'll just be quiet. Got some gas. Shoot! Oh no. That was a dog. Can you knock it up here? Oh no, that's a wolf! Try to shoot you. I think it might be stuck, which is perfect for us. God, keep choosing when he's like moving. There we go. I'll wait until after he like bops up like that. There we go. Miss with that shot for some reason. Come on. Jump up one more time. Here we go. I don't know why I'm missing like this. Please. I'm trying to aim like a little bit up because I think the hitboxes for the generator and the uh, spotlight are kind of... God, it keeps like... 
Let's try right here. I think I just hit the spotlight. Oh! Okay, one more arrow. That's what I thought, okay. Nothing else in here? Maybe I can find a handgun. That'd be too lucky, wouldn't it? Let's use this quick. Drop this rotten flesh. I got some clay. Pipes. Hmm. Maybe I can bash him like this. This is much more effective than using arrows. Come on, die already. Ah. Oops. Get a generator. Come on. Don't you attack that wall. I'm out of stamina right now. I'll just use this opportunity to uh, repair my stone weapon. Or my wooden club, I should say. It has so much health. I did get some uh, arrows back from him. Not many, but some. Dude, just die. There we go. Uh, okay. Now I can take out my bone shiv and cut into it and get some meat, which will help us out with our food situation. That also gives a little bit of experience, which is nice. We're also a little low on health right now, so I'm going to go ahead and take these pills. We'll search this generator. Some parts there. Okay. Get back three arrows from that. That's okay. Not great, but it's okay. We got a lot of freaking uh, meat from that though, so that's that's nice. Can you get up here? I don't think you can. Oh no, I'm infected. Crap. That means uh, my stamina and stuff's gonna take some hits here. Well, more meat. If your infection on the right or left there, if the infection gets too high, What's going to happen is I'll turn into a zombie and uh, die. So, not a great look. Okay, there are ways to avoid that, but don't think we're going to be in luck. Ah, locked, of course. Can I get in through here, though? What if I... Shit! Well, you don't go out at night. Oh, this one's a freaking leaper, I forgot. Three? We died. That's why we put down a bedroll. So not only will I die, but I'm pretty sure my corpse becomes a new zombie as well. But we can go back. We can get our stuff back. So... All is not lost. We just uh, had a, a bunch of bad time right there. So I think we will... Uh, we'll just wait for right now until day comes, which will be a couple hours. A little bit here. We'll, we'll just kind of chill here. You can hear in the background by audio. Um, increase the overall sound, lower the ambiance a little bit. Get this up to 80.
You hear that like metal thumping sound? Stopped actually. What's the metal thumping coming from a thing or a zombie hitting stuff? I'm just gonna punch some grass. I'll go clean this place up a little bit while we're waiting for daylight. Four? It could also be five or six. I, I always forget time. If I could find a rock down here, I could make another axe. garbage. Ah! I got a, uh, those. I'm going to scrap both of that. Scrap it in cloth. Need the stone and the wood, right? I need wood for it still. Can I get some wood here? Yeah, I can. Okay. One. Now I have the wood. How many stone do I need? I just take two stones. Can I get stone from this? I don't think so. Unfortunate. Okay. We gotta find some stone. I don't think I can get stone from this, right? Maybe it'll be cobble. Like I said, they're punching cinder blocks. As long as I don't make too much noise. Shouldn't get any zombies attracted to me. Rock right here. One rock? One more? Can we get one more? I'm outside here. Let me just sneak across and grab a couple. And we'll just shimmy our way back down to the cellar. And I'm actually going to close these doors as well. That way they'll have to break through that if they want to get to me. All right, now I can go ahead and craft the stone axe. Give me that. Put the rest of this stuff in here. Okay. So while we're waiting, I'll just stock up on plastic, I guess. Plastic and wood and cloth and all that. Not much else I can do since I uh, lost all of my gear. I could go out there and, you know, slink around a little bit. I need a shovel to get that better. That aside for now. Grab this wood, why not? Kind of clean up our little territory here. Make it look pretty. This. I think the zombies are far enough away that we're not gonna attract them with this. Yep. If we had a wrench, we could possibly destroy this and that, and that would help us to get uh, some parts and stuff, but I can't do that quite yet. Hey. Okay.
So I'll kind of use this house as a, a a loot hoard area. Put all my loot in that chest. At least until we find a place to settle for right now. Normally what I do is I go out somewhere in the wilderness and I just build a, a ramshackle shack somewhere, right? Um, like a plain old shack, nothing too fancy, and live there. And then what I'll do when the horde approaches, fight them off from in there the best I can by making improvised you know, stuff. And then after I've survived for a couple of hordes and get my, you know, resources acquired, I'll begin to... build another base, like a concrete bunker kind of thing, like a full-on holdout. But I'm wondering what I should do this time. Should I just make another normal concrete bunker to hide in, or should I try to like actually hold up in like a house somewhere? I definitely don't want to be in a city. If I'm in a city, that means the loot is not going to respawn, uh, because of, uh, it needs like a distance in order to respawn the loot. So I don't want to do that. But if I can find some place nice, might set up in a house there. I think we'll, what we'll do the next morning is we'll head towards the trader. Um, possibly. I do want to loot some more places around here when it's daylight, just so we can get materials and stuff. And then once we have pretty much everything we want, um, I can go to the trader. Sell them the stuff that I don't need right now. Will get us some resources. And maybe find a house nearby them as well that I can use to, you know, have a base. Okay. So that was pretty much everything down here I could destroy easy enough. I can destroy this stuff too. These bricks, because it's stone. We're nearing 4 o'clock, so we'll see if that's the daytime. If it's not, we'll just wait a little bit longer. Maybe I'll go upstairs and throw some stuff. I don't know. Try that again. So it used to be in early 7 Days to Die, um, you could make tools and stuff. However, every time you like repaired a tool, the durability of the tool would go down. So, like, see how, like, it has a 1 next to it? That would be, like, its durability or its level. And it would go all the way up to, like, 600 and stuff like that. Like, I think there was even some 700 weapons uh, in normal 7 Days to Die when it originally came out. And so you would do that, and whenever you would repair it, that total, like, quality value would go down. And when it would go down, it would become weaker. Ah, there's the day day noise. Perfect. Alright, so now it's day. We're gonna go out and murder some zombies. Hey, wait, are you good? What killed you? Ah, there's that zombie. You know what? It shouldn't be able to come at me very quickly. Now that it's, you know, night and all. Go ahead and take everything. And you can see just already resorted my stuff. So I'm gonna smack him. Take him down. He's got a good reach on him. There we go. That zombie is what we call a uh, spider zombie, I think. I think. It uh it can jump, or at least it's a jumping sort of zombie. I don't know. It has a different model than the Spider zombies I'm used to seeing, but they can jump around. There's also zombies. I don't know if it's those or a different one, but they can like climb on walls and stuff like that. And uh, they're very not nice for base design. All right, I'm gonna make uh, two frames real quick, like. I'm gonna use these frames to go here. Be able to just get through that window. No, I need one more frame, maybe. That way I can that frame. 
Oh, wait, is that a way in up top? I think it is. Hold on. Not there. Oop, there we go. Jump over here. Oh, hello, boys. All right, there's one dead. So I can use these guys to my advantage um, to destroy some walls. Maybe the door. Oh, man, I missed him. Unfortunately, can I get his back? No. All right, so what I'll do... I'm gonna go back out here. And... Hey, boys. Wait, did they just jump through the window back there? Also, what's neat is that the hard hat zombies here, they have more uh, damage resistance on their head because the hard hat. Same with like military zombies and stuff. Make sure I'm not. Ow, what the hell? Are you running at me, man? Rude. Be a little careful here. Okay. Oh, this guy dropped a loot bag. Oh, that was a stone arrow. Never mind. Sometimes they can drop loot bags. Stone arrow there. This skirt. I will go ahead and wear that. And I'll scrap these hemp fiber things. Let me scrap that there as well. Oh, another stone arrow right there. A working stiff's crate. Perfect. Can we get a chainsaw? Oh man, if only. I got some steel sledgehammer parts though. That'll uh handy there. Also got what is this? Bottle acid. Got some more lock picks too. Office chair. No, I will say. That was gross. Give me potassium nitrate for it though. Okay. Well. That did not go as planned. I will Admit. But it's okay. I'll go ahead and just real quick repair this club. I don't there's anything up here. Right? Bird nest. I'd like to be able to make more arrows. Because those would help me out to not get just destroyed in close combat. Sometimes it gets a little hard to judge how far exactly you can hit them and they cannot hit you. And just like that construction worker, sometimes they're a little bit too fast for you. Bar. First, sometimes I find handguns in there. Just money. Can I hit it from here? Yeah, I can. Aha! Can you hit me though? That's the question. Hopefully not. Don't run away. Did you not like me hitting your face? Well, I can use my bow. Get a pretty decent shot of his head. Stops moving. Well, now I guess I don't want to. Now I can just hit him again. Yo, get him locked down. Ow. Dang. Terrain height difference got me. There we go. Okay. You know, I think I'm going to use this med kit now. Just to restore my health. Okay. And of course, the health regener is not immediate. It does take a little bit of time, so you'll see my health start to regen there in the bottom. Come on. Time to get my butt kicked now. Now they're on this difficulty. Okay. What do we got here? Flag is what we got, it looks like. Okay, just a bunch of junk. 
Any zombies that I can see right here? No. That, that's just a corpse that's like floated or something. Rotting trash. Take it. Got a scrapped car. Another scrapped car. Okay. How about this? That's locked. So, I think I can get up here. I don't see any zombies on the roof. There's that, though! One of the worst enemies in the game, the zombie birds! I will take the feathers, but I only give rotten flesh, unfortunately, which is unfortunate. So I'm actually going to take this rotten flesh and throw it out immediately. I will... That. How's my food and stuff situation right now? Nine? Okay. I'll just eat some of these blueberries. They don't increase your food by a lot, but better than nothing. Claw hammer. Description. Claw hammer that is great for repairing and upgrading base walls. Not bad as a weapon. Repair it with repair kit. Repair kit. Okay. Here's someone beating on stuff down there. Not ideal. I'll go ahead and craft a bunch of arrows. Uh, we have a bunch of feathers. Anything else on the roof up here? Sometimes they hide stuff in corners. Also, grab this chair. Wrap that down. Got a lot of bones, which we can make them into glue, but we either need a campfire or a chemistry bench. We'll ignore that for now. Any zombies down in this room? Look like it. I did learn one thing from a uh, YouTuber at one point, and that is that you can use hatches interestingly. Bed here. Hello. Okay, they're right there. I'm gonna have to undo that. Never mind. Damn it. Hit him. Hit her in the head. Stop lagging. God, this is bad. I don't know why I'm still like lagging like this, though. Watch, almost dead. There we go. Close the door. Anyone in here? Yep. Okay, so. Uh, how do I rotate this? There we go. If I can put this here, I can open it up, and do this, and then he's kind of blocked behind there. As long as I stay a safe distance away so he can't hit me, he'll have to attack that before he can get into me. That's great. Here's zombies attacking more stuff out there. Not ideal. Nothing up there. Search bathtub filled. Yeah, that's what I figured would be in there. Alright, so what you got for me? Good. No. Nope. Nothing hidden behind these walls. Oh, there it is. Foul trash, which has a tin can. Okay. Ooh, a bookcase. Nice. That'll give me uh, bicycle handlebars. Nice. What do we got from here? More feathers. Excellent. Okay. 
They're really wailing away out there, aren't they? Well, I'm gonna use these uh, pills. And uh, probably need to drink a thing of water now. Okay. Scrap that, scrap that. Forgetting left click uh, rotates. Right click is what you need to actually place stuff down. I want to uh, repair this before I progress any further here. Close that door. use these traps to my advantage. Okay, perfect. Bye bye lady. I was gonna be careful of closets. They might have zombies in them, you never know. Clearing the inside here before we. Oh, hello there. Y'all gonna come and say hi? Okay, here we go. I'm thirsty, huh? Well, I'll just take a swig of this real quick. Drop some loot too, that's nice of him. I think I got her down too. Ooh, we got a wrench. Woo! Nice. The ultimate. Actually, I guess there's the hammer as well, but this is nice. Does this do anything? I'm gonna use it anyway. Perfect. See you there. Not gonna waste any uh, stuff on him right now, though. He'll still be beating away at that for a little bit. Really? Nope. How did you get up there, sir? Feel weakened by going across that spike trap as well. Beat him up here. Man, this hatch idea was just superb. I'm not gonna try to go through those two spikes, because even if you touch like a side of it, it's gonna like destroy your legs. That's not great. That should be everyone in this house right now. I think, I hope. There's the guy pounding away at the outside, but still a little ways from getting into us, so just ignore him for now. That's all of these searched. We have a nice wooden crate here. 
Yeah, they're attacking the door now. Luckily, it's a reinforced day door. Ooh, a shotgun messiah. Will we find a good gun? That's the question. We did not, but we found some other stuff. Let's take a look at once we're back to safety. Um, let's grab that. Nothing else I can search here right now. Can I pick up these chairs? Not really. What did I learn? I learned uh, machine guns, craft MG or M60. Okay. Take these wooden chairs. I'm gonna go back to my safe haven. So we're gonna take a moment to sort through our inventory and do what we can to narrow down what we have here. Okay. Scrap that. I got crossbow bolts, which we'll just scrap. I don't have a crossbow. Uh, knuckle wraps, which are protecting your hands, so we will go ahead and equip those. Oh, no, those, those are just weapons. No thanks. Uh, wear that t-shirt, please. What's this? Ergonomic grip. Reduces melee weapon stamina usage. Modify. So I can go ahead and modify that, which is very nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. That'll get rid of that as well. So let's do that and then that. I don't really need this hammer anymore now that I have the wrench, so we'll do that. I have steel knuckle parts, which I don't really have a good use for. Can I destroy these? I cannot. Unfortunate. Need some blueberries, though. Trying to keep an eye out on my peripherals, make sure that we're not getting flanked by any zomboys here, you know. I think they might have lost interest, actually. Go ahead and... That. How am I doing on hunger now? Hunger is at 60. Okay, so we can eat this food here. Yucca juice does 34. How are we looking on hydration? Hydration is still pretty pretty good. We don't need to worry about that for yet. Um, I guess I'll just break down these knuckle wraps. Yeah, let's break down the knuckle wraps. And uh think of these iron arrows, to be honest. Back some cornmeal, which is not all that helpful to be honest. Anything else I can break down real quick? I don't think there is. All right, perfect. So I think we're done here. Uh, let's go out this way, I guess. Probably the quickest. Swoop back in here because these boys are coming in now. Crap, he jumped over. God dang it. Come on. It's messed up, man. You can't just do that. Very rude. Okay. Well, unfortunate. All right, we will repair that, repair that. Um, I think we also leveled up a while ago. Yeah, we did. Okay. Did I ever get healing factor? I did not. So let's go ahead and get that, because we are... Uh... Health is going to be an issue, I feel. So that's going to be a thing. What else can we get? Oh my god, we got another zombie coming in. Almost back away so I can hit him in the head. Go. All right. Now then, back to what I was doing. Um, let's see here. Archery. Craft better bows. Deal more damage, aim faster, draw faster. 
I don't want to get that quite yet. Better barter. Daring adventurer. Risking your neck. Gain an additional choice for rewards. That nah, doesn't matter. Charismatic nature. Inspire people. Nearby allies gain. That doesn't matter. Something solo. Um, craft glue for cheaper. Craft forges and craft items with them 20% faster. Hold off on that for now. Pummel Pete. What does this do? I can craft better clubs, deal more damage, and attacks do 40% more to stunned enemies. Power attacks have a chance to not close back. Unlocks baseball bat crafting. I might go with that, to be honest. Actually, Hmm. Fixing stones can't break my bones, but if I combine into a nice spear, craft, craft two poor spears. Spears do more damage and more range damage from thrown. Hmm. Always a question of what to get when, you know? Unlocks Iron Sledgehammer Crafting. I think I'll get Pummel Pete. Um, just so we do more damage with the club. Because that seems to be what we're you know, sorely lacking. Do I have any medical supplies here, by the way? I don't think I do. Does Yucca heal? No, it's not at all. Some stuff does, so I was curious. I pushed all that. Alright. So let's go back to our home real quick. I say home, but it's more like home with air quotes. What we got here? Garbage, yes. We'll just go back down, drop out what we got. Yeah, I kind of go from there. This one's weaker. I guess this one. Okay. One thing about carrying a lot of stuff is that it drains your stamina quicker, which is not ideal for. Anything, really. All those bandages still, though. Um, you know what? I will keep the lock picks because I can use those to, like, pick locks. Oh. Let's grab these feathers, and then I'll make more stone arrows here as well. Okay. Um, base... Baseball bat. I need leather, duct tape, and forged iron. Why do we need forged iron? And that much forged iron at that. Okay. Also, uh, didn't realize I had so many of these things. That. Okay. Excellent. Go back out. Hopefully we can clear another house before it gets to be too... What was that? Hello? Is that the sound of me walking through bushes? I guess it is. Okay, well... Setting that aside, I've already searched that garbage. How's this look? Hey, lady. Ah. Here we go. A little bit faster. Okay, let's quickly search what we can here in this garage and then move on. Ah. Is that not lootable? I guess it's not lootable. I don't know what this crate is. Anything, or is it just trash? Construction site box. Ooh, we got some wire tools and some frames, it looks like. Not bad. Not that great either. Oh, the passing gas up here. I noticed that. Okay. Um, I always got to look up sometimes, too. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh, a gas can schematic. Not sure what that did exactly, because I think I already knew that, but... Alright, this area is cleared. Bird nest. Okay. 
Well, I definitely can't get through that door. I don't think I can crawl through here either. Could I? Can I get through here? I cannot. Okay. That's not going to work out. Um, oh, the door's open. Okay. Well, let's not give them a chance to wake up, shall we? I don't know why that scared me, but it did. So my health is still regenerating naturally, but I might as well take some of these pills. Speed the process up a little bit. Because we are continuing to finish things off. Lab equipment. What do we got? That's fine. Take that. Like an underground pharmacy here, almost. It'd be cool if I could find some uh, antibiotics just to have. Not that I need them right now or anything. Having them would be sick. Corners. I'm gonna destroy that stuff because it makes noise when I step on it. Also, I think those are boots. I don't have anything to wear on my feet right now, so that'd be great to have. Go ahead and close that real quick, first of all. And then... We can do this. Got him. All right. Thirsty. Do I have anything to drink? Go. Pull that baby down. Anything else in here? I really don't like the fact that there's a uh, dog kennel there. Hungry, maximum stamina is reduced. Crap. What is this? Beer? Okay. We could use some lockpicks there, but I don't think I want to risk that yet. Ooh, we got some uh booty pop. Can I just throw this dartboard too? I can. And I knew it. There's a moldy backpack in here. The bone. Fine. All right, let's continue clearing this area. Cat food. I will, I'll eat it. I don't see anyone on the other side of this counter. Got a cooking pot over there. Figured as much. Why are you running? Oh my god, that was such a lucky axe hit. Yeah, cooking pot. In that chair. All right, I need to find some food, so let's search this place quick. See if uh, I can find some food or water in any of these. Coffee, that's not the greatest. Does coffee give me water? It does, okay. Um, it also gives me got a bunch of stamina regen, so we'll go ahead and use this. Get my water back up. What was this? Recog? Range damage is increased. Oh, huh, right. Wouldn't scrap all that. 
Okay. I'm going to be a little more aggressive here than we can be. Got her. Nice, nice. What? What's this? Self-defense. Uh, do temper some damage to humans. Does that mean zombies or like players? Because if it's players, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? All right. This floor is secured. Fantastic. All right. I don't want to fight on the stairs, so let's use this railing to our advantage for a second, I guess. Until he just jumps over it. Bathroom. Look like it. I'll take that, we can keep the rest of that garbage. Okay. Oh, hey, lady. Okay. Let's go ahead and put down a hatch so I can safely destroy this lady. Just die. Thank you. I think that's the little landmines. Not a fan of that. Oh, -ho. we got a purse. Excellent. Okay. Let me try to remember that 22 is when it becomes night. Still hungry. So we got dynamite. I'm gonna have to craft dynamite. Ooh. How low is my uh, food right now? 50? Okay. If, if it's only 50, that's fine. Our other issue is this right now. Because, uh... God, I hope this works. Does it not work like this anymore? I thought you could shoot them and then they would, like... Oh yeah, it's raining some heaviness right now. Okay. Can I go through this? Kind of? God damn. Sounds like it's uh, raining tin cans out there. Anyone in this room? Hello? Hello? Oh, way up, huh? Little wall safe. I get some leather from this bed, or is it just, just that? Lag, why? Another wall safe. I don't want to go up there quite yet. So, uh... Search this room first. Another wall safe. Oh my god. What do we got here? We learned how to make a baked potato! Excellent. That'll come in handy. When we eventually find potatoes and stuff. Not right now. That needs to be repaired. Hold on. There we go. I just picked up rotten flesh. Out of my inventory. Crap that. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, so we're not gonna go that way, obviously. We will go this way. Hello? Anyone up here? 
No, okay. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay. There's three of them. So let's place this here. Open this bad boy up and smash their heads. No, no, not allowed. Stop climbing over, you assholes. Well, 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 it isn't the crawler. Come on, put your head through. I'll murder you ass, I don't care. Okay. Oh boy. These guys are getting feisty. So what were you hiding up here, huh? Oh, I see you. Yeah. Small food pile, nice. I will go ahead and eat these beans right now. Anything else is in there, okay. Hello? Yep, that's a boy. Or, I guess, a lady. Close it, close it, close it! I was trying to open my inventory. Repair that, and open this door. Sprint over here. I'm gonna repair the thing here. Hey, lady, over here. Hey, 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 hey. Over here. Are you crawling? Here, though. I think the problem with the hatch message is if there's multiple zombies, the one you're attacking will get stunned, but the other ones will um, just be able to crawl over. Unfortunate. All right. Looks like we got a lot of food crates up here, which is just excellent. That's what we needed. We're really lacking food. We do have meat that we can, like, of course, cook. Um, we got pumpkins and a blueberry pie. Nice. We got here. Ooh, we got meat. Ooh, that is, that's brilliant. Weapon bag. Of course, we didn't get anything good right there. And that's fine. That's how it goes. Leather trunk. Ooh. Some fancy stuff more ammunition. Shotgun Messiah. Maybe we'll find our uh, bazooka in here, huh? Not that a bazooka's good or anything. Just would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Okay. That was everything up here. Top side. I think, right? Yep. Let's sort through all this real quick. That way we can get ourselves in a good position here. So go ahead and eat this. That'll raise our up a bit more. Um, let's go ahead and put this on for our armor. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this knuckle wrap. We don't need to scrap that too. This tuna I will also eat to increase our health a bit. This book, uh, do more damage against coyotes. That'll be helpful to have. Anything that's like more damage against X, Y, or Z is helpful to have. Um, we have banded armor. Increases your armor rating. I could use this, actually. What else we got here? We got a uh, pumpkin. Doesn't really help too much. I will potentially hold on to it for now, though. We got our blueberry pie, which I might use now, to be honest. Go. Okay. Go ahead and scrap that. Move this stuff around here. Perfect. All right, let's search the rest of the house. Get back to our base. And then kind of do some inventory stuff, I suppose. All right. So remember, we can pick these, but I don't want to pick the ones up here yet. I don't think. I want to go back downstairs. To that other one. 
a quick sweep through here as well, make sure there's nothing I miss, like this chair, these chairs. Perfect. Okay. Back here, there was this one, and I'm gonna, real quick, grab those chairs. So we'll go ahead and pick this lock. It's gonna take us some time, but maybe we won't have to break into it, which takes forever. Really game anyway. Broken a lockpick. Okay. Well, try again. Broke your lockpick. Okay. Let's try it again. Broke a lockpick again. One more. Uh, do I use my last lockpick? Or do I try the other ones? Might as well use another lockpick. Come on. Come on. We got it. Oh, and we got a pipe rifle. Level three quality too. Nice. Now we have a single load rifle, which is not ideal, but it's if it's in a pinch, it'll help us out here. So since we can't pick the locks on the other ones, we'll go back home for now while it's still day out. Because if we were to waste our time trying to loot another house this late, it's not going to be a good time for us right now with this much carrying out. So let's just go back home and start some stuff. Okay. First of all, let's go ahead and store everything that we uh, don't really need, that we can store right now anyway. There we go. All right, everything else we don't have room to store. That's unfortunate. I will hold on to this beer down here, though, because it'll increase your stamina regen, which is nice. Um, everything else I'm going to move up to here, just so we can get out of the other encumbered area. All right. Let's take our meat, and let's take some jars as well. Let's create a campfire. We can take this campfire, we can just set it down here, doesn't matter really where. We can add in our cooking pot, and we can add in, how do I split? Is it, there we go. Right click, drag, okay. And we can turn this on. I'll leave it off actually. <clears throat> so I can make charred meat, which is not the best thing to make, to be honest. Uh, but it is a thing we can make. Let's grab this stuff as well. Anything that I can use to like make food with is what I want right now. So I think maybe I can use these. Let's grab that shamway so I can just eat it. Let's grab this animal fat. For sure, I can use it for stuff. Um, with the bones. Okay. Now, if we look, I can make bottled water. I can make glue. I can make this pumpkin cheesecake if I had the recipe or Master Chef, I guess. Okay. So, food right now, I'm on good. Let's go ahead and make all of the. What do we need for coffee? I guess I just need to know Master Chef because then I could make it, right? Yeah, I have coffee beans. I just need. I guess I need boiled water as well. So boil all the water we can, and then. Oh, you need murky water for the bones too. Okay. Well, we'll make charred meat after that as well. Not gonna be a whole heck of a lot, but it'll help. Um, while that's cooking, let's make some stone arrows. Do I know how to make a forge yet? No, I need advanced engineering. Well, that's fine for now. Let's put these here. Put the bullet casings, put that away. 
the one with that. There's really a limit to how much I can really use, right? Which sucks. I'm just going to scrap those. I might as well take that back, to be honest. Put the aloe away. I'll hold on to these, because they could help. Needs to do the bullets for that. This and that. Okay. Can I make anything with cloth and that stuff right now? Like clothing? I can make a leather poncho or a bandana. Do I need either of those though? Not really. This is my character right now, by the way. I know. Handsome. I could make a bandana, I suppose. Craft it. Give me a little bit more resistance there. A robotic auto turret. Right. Well, while we're here, go ahead and make a couple more hatches. Just to have them. Perfect. And let's go ahead and put that torch on the wall just to free up another space. So the painkillers down there. But I think if I go into my inventory, go to this, I can modify it and then put that in there, which will increase the armor rating by two, which is not a huge amount, but it is enough to help out a little bit for right now. Go ahead and store that stuff away. How are we looking here? Most of the murky water boiled off. We're going to start producing um, meat here in a moment. But I would like to try to do... I don't remember if I can do this or not, but I figure I will try it out. Where was the bathroom in this place? Right there. Okay. So, I was thinking... Can I refill these... No. Okay. I think you used to be able to do that. Maybe now you can only do it from like direct water sources. Okay. Regardless. Didn't hurt anything to check, right? Well, that's closed. The upstairs is still a mess, but we're alright. We are all right here right now. Might as well pair the bow while we're just waiting. Repair with short iron pipes. Okay. So if I find more iron pipes, I can repair this. What do we use to repair this? Repair with bone. Okay. Might as well take the bone out and repair this then real quick. All right. We're getting some meat. Not bad. Not great though, but you know. That's just how it is sometimes. I did get an extra perk, or a stat point anyway. So I got a rifle. What was the rifle perk at? Was it boomstick? That's just shotguns. Deadeye? Yeah. Better aim with rifle. Hot shot increases. The aim and reload faster, unlocks hunting rifle, crafting, all that. Hmm. So, right now I could get the blacksmith, which will unlock the forge. And you know what? I think I might do that. So, with the forge, I need duct tape, I need short iron pipes, I have plenty of stone, I think I have plenty of clay now as well. So, what I'm really missing is the short iron pipes, so I'll have to keep those instead of scrapping them now. Also, let's turn off the forge here. 
All right, so how am I looking in terms of food and stuff right now? Uh, we're at 99 food. That's good. I do need water, like, badly. So let's take this one. And this will give me 20 each, so 20. Okay. It'll slowly fill up as this number here goes down. I don't want to use all of it unless I have to, which I think I'll need one more, but There's one more. I can't put these away, unfortunately. Okay, so let's look at the map real quick. Right River Citizens down there. When do I get the airdrops? It was every three days, right? Or was it every day? I think it was every three. All right, so look at the map. We've cleared this section of the city. We cleared that house uh, today. And there's these two houses and a lot more to see. Um, let me look at what I have here. Because what I might do the next morning is I might go out and just go to the trader because we have stuff that we don't use. Let's see. Mechanical parts. Can't use those right now. Steroids probably not going to use. Blood pack. We have that and that. We have those. Although I could hold off on this. I, need, I do need five steel sledgehammer parts. And I would use those. What do we need for the steel club? Seven? I don't know. The question is, is it worth hoarding those until I can use it, right? Can I modify this with that? I can. Ha ha. Complete. Excellent. Okay. What else do I not really need right now? The wire tool, I guess I don't need that. All these iron arrows. Recog, I'm probably never going to use. Having this little amount of coal and nitrogen and oil, it's money. Let me sort real quick. Hmm, what can I sell tomorrow? I think I'll take all of this ammunition, just so I, I'm carrying it, you know? Um, I think everything else I want to keep, or at least hold on to for right now. Um, but I will put back these parts, just for right now. I'll hold on to them, you know? But everything else, I don't really need or want to sell right now. It'll have a use later. Very quickly later, I should say. Some of it's hard to get, like the uh, like lead and other stuff are pain to get. Coal is easy enough. You can just go mine up fires and you'll get coal. Plastic, hold on to that. Wasn't there a way to make duct tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloth fragments and glue. I don't have much glue though. What I might do is. I need murky water, right? I thought it was boiled. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow I think what we'll do is we'll take a nice little jog over to the trader, and what do I do with this? I can get pumpkin seeds, which could come in handy. I can get jack-o'-lantern, mmm, fancy. Keep it for now. I can turn it into seeds, which will be something I can plant later on. That'll work. Okay. Let me rearrange this so I don't accidentally sell the meat stew. 
So all this stuff we're selling, the steroids, the blood bag, the old cash, steel weapon parts, or knuckle parts, mechanical parts, the oil, the iron arrows, the recog, coal, and the uh, nitrate. All that stuff will be just sold to the trader, and then we can possibly buy some extra stuff as well. Um, so I guess while we're just waiting for night to finish up, I'm going to actually come back here just so I can have a better view of my area. Let's look at our inventory uh, points, or our stat points, I should say. What do we want to get next? That is the question. So lock picking would lock pick faster and have a chance to break less, which would be great. But do we need to lock pick that much? Not really. Infiltrator means we would take less damage from landmines, which doesn't really matter since we don't. They're, they're obvious enough. A trail finder, we could find more animals. Not a big deal. A penetrator, ignore uh, armor with firearms and archery. 100% on anything else with an armor target reduction. Most zombies don't really have armor, except for the military zombies, but there it's not a big deal. Uh, I would like to get more lucky looter. That would come in handy. But we're not going to deal with that right now. We would have to increase this first, of course. Yeah. Looking at strength next. Boomstick, we don't have a shotgun, so that doesn't matter. We already got Pummel Pete, which increased our club damage, which was great. Full Crusher with the Bloodhammer. I would like to get this, but at the same time, since we're already specking to Pummel Pete, it might be a little less good, you know? Hack Mule would be nice to be able to carry stuff without being over encumbered, but then again, it doesn't matter too much. Master Chef, we could cook more, which would be very helpful to have. We could actually cook eggs and bacon. We could grill and boil our meat. Um, we could make baked potatoes and cornbread, which we have cornmeal, so we could easily do that. We could also make coffee. Minor 69er would just let us make better tools, like our, our axe, picks and shovels. We can just harvest stuff faster. And then to get sexual Tyrannosaurus, we'd have to, of course, increase our strength attribute. For the Fortitude, we would be able to increase our martial arts, which is fists. Don't need that. Machine Gunner, again, we don't have any AKs yet, so it doesn't matter. Harvest more resources from animals. Deal better with cold and stuff. Not too big of a deal. Living off the land means we can craft seeds for stuff. That's a thing. Pain tolerance means it reduces HP loss by 5%. Less chance to get stunned. It would be nice to lose, uh, to have this to like take less damage, but I'm not sure I want it necessarily. Now this would help us regenerate health, but if we're not getting hurt, we don't need it. So look, maybe not get that. Leaky gut, uh, I'm not sure. Reduce water and food loss. That would mean we'd have to have less food, which would be great, but I don't know. And we also have a cardio path, which would be good to have as well, just because we wouldn't lose as much when we're sprinting around. Next we have agility which archery would unlock wooden bow and crossbow crafting, rather than just having a primitive bow here. Um, which it wouldn't hurt to have, because those are quiet weapons, right? Gunslinger is pistols. We don't need right now. Deep cuts would be like knives and stuff like that. Studies. Running gun is related to hip fire, which I don't think we're going to do that much. One-headed melee weapons are a lot better, which we're not using one-headed melee weapons. That's fine. Light armor. I don't really want to dedicate anything to armor yet because we're not able to produce it decent enough. Parkour is not really necessary unless you're trying to like jump and 
fall a lot. It didn't strike. It means that we would have better sneak attack damage, which it might be worth investing into. If we, especially if we get archery as well, that way we can. I hear running around. Don't like it. Christ. Our zombies attacking something over there. Let's just reposition here for now. Okay. From the shadows means hiding the shadows more effectively. Noises and actions are muffled more. Enemies will search for you up for 50 seconds. Okay. And intellect. Well, executioner uh, means that we can craft stun Stop, 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 about 100 Why? kilometers west of Toronto. It's not even what I it said. It is one of three cities that make up the regional Alexa, municipality stop. of Waterloo and is the regional seat. Alexa, Kitchener stop. Kitchener was known. God. She really wanted to talk about that city, huh? All right, so we got Executioner, which doesn't matter too much. Robotics Inventor, which means we can craft and deploy weapons like auto sentries and stuff, which would be cool, don't get me wrong. I don't hear the beating anymore. A wheel dealer means we're better at buying and selling. Daring adventurer means if I do quests, I can get more money. Charismatic, we don't need that. Physician means we can craft bandages and stuff more. You didn't like level three for that though. Advanced engineering we got and grease monkey. Uh, we'd be able to get bicycles and stuff, which means we can travel around a lot faster. Um, and then, of course, just the stuff that we already got. Let's look at what we all got. We can coyotes, more than humans. I guess humans do count as zombies? Because there's not a zombie specific one here. Needle and thread, craft your own shoes and boots. Archery. Uh, receive. Retrieve more arrows. I think that's all, huh? Didn't I get one that I, like, read but didn't, like, have time to read or something? I picked one up, but I was, like, then attacked, and I was like, oh, crap. Let me look at what I'm doing. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I think for right now, it might be a good idea to focus on hidden strike and archery. Just so we have a, a silent way to kill things. But on the other hand, getting arrows is a bit of a pain, right? So I'm not sure if that is something I want to do. Hidden Strike would definitely help, just regardless, I can, like, knock people out, right? On the other hand, we could go heavy into Pummel Pete by getting more stuff into Strength. And more Strength would also mean that it raises the Headshot bonus and Dismembering Chance with clubs, stuff like that. Uh, would be nice, right? Go from like 200% headshot to 210. Have a 10% chance of dismembering with clubs and shotguns and stuff. It's really just kind of question. Maybe we get first. Let's get Master Chef so we can actually cook stuff. That would be helpful to have, right? After that. I think our next goal, maybe we get burglary first as well. Um, so burglary and then chef. And then we try to go into more strength. So we can get more of Pummel Pete. Right now, since we don't have guns, um, having gun abilities is just kind of 
map, right? All right. So how are we doing on our food and water right now? Because we haven't really moved much. Not too bad. We've really only moved from here to there. Easy. Let's just double check what we want to do here. So we do have forged steel. And I guess the question is, do we want to get rid of it now for cash and potentially use to buy things or keep it? I think I'm gonna get rid of the wire cutters because there's no way we're gonna be able to get electricity running here in the next like couple of days. We're looking at at least like the third horde before we get that working uh, to a decent amount because we'll have to get the materials for it, get the ammunition for it, all that kind of stuff. It just is not feasible right now to do that. Um, steel we could potentially get quite easily, because if we look at it, forge steel, we only need iron and clay. Uh, forged iron, we just need iron and clay as well, which is weird that you need, you know, the same things, but it's just in different amounts. But uh, yeah, we just need to make it up a forge. We just need to get the forge down and then we can start making our iron stuff. Steel's a little bit of ways off still. I think I think we'll hold on to the steel bars for now. Because that's less we have to make later. Yeah. Oh my god. I've been blind this whole time. Look at the uh, the tool belt at the bottom there. Do you see the green and blue markers? That's that's food and water. Green is food, blue is water. Didn't realize it until now. I am blind. All right. So it was basically day. Let's get a start. Start heading towards the trader. We'll be a couple of seconds here while it's not safe, and now it's safe again. Let's go. I don't see what was being hit on previously, though. So that's sort of concerning to me. Um, but I don't see anything that was being hit. But we are going to just go to the trader and collect any like random trash and rubble that we can find. Uh, loot cars and stuff like that as well. Maybe find some different things here. If we find stuff along the way, we can trade it. And so that'll be handy, right? Let's beat this uh, very well-dressed zombie to death. Yo! Gone. We're getting a nice view of the town as well while we're out here. So that is helpful to have. Just run by, we'll be able to get a, a very nice, sizable feel for the town. Just running in this one direction. It seems like it's only a block or... It's roughly a block or two wide. So we can get the length down here. Quite simply. Gotta be careful of bushes, man. Zombies like to hide them. Two hits, not bad. That was a nice crit. All right, we'll of course loot any bird nests we come across. What? Here's the trader. All right. So the trader's nice because they have basically a. Oh, right. It's too early to go into the trader. Oh, I forgot. The trader takes a little while to open up. Look at the map, though. So, they're right outside the city, which is nice. Um, we have this huge area here, a lot more buildings here. I guess while we're waiting, let's just search a little more. Also, I'm going to take these pills right now. Uh, ooh, we got a shotgun tube extender mod. We got some sunglasses. I'll go ahead and wear those. What is on fire over there? 
It's like a torch or something. Weird. What is this building? Like a hotel? Okay, that's just a body. Oh, we got some Bernie zombies, I think. Or fire barrels, maybe. Hard to tell which is which sometimes, you know? Got a tweaker there. I'll back up a little. Got him. Although it looks like he was already onto me. As was she. That arrow back. Flag. Hey, lady. Stop hobbling towards me. Here we go. Is it six o'clock that the zombies or that the trader opens? I think it might be. Big buns. Is that a strip club? Ooh, we got a tire. Not sure if I should sell that or not. What is this? The beer of the bear den. Okay. We got barbed wire across it there. Can't really do much there. Go ahead and get rid of the ones here so I can jump through this window. Crap. Hook her up. That's right, fall on the ground. Go! Alright, one down. Should we be able to hear the announcement for the trader opening here as well? Let's take this place and just loot it nice and good. Hopefully, we can avoid too much attention from zombies here. Ow. I'm not entirely sure why I'm lagging this badly, though. Chairs. Oiled trash. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and scrap some stuff here. Now let's go ahead and eat these peas. Why not? Those. Okay. There's nothing hiding behind these. Okay. Oh, port bag. Ooh, got a pipe baton. And a very decent quality one at that. Oh, yeah. It, uh. Go ahead and just swap that out real quick. The trader's open. I think I actually want to go over there first before we go any further in. Let's take a moment to regen our stamina here. Test out this baton on this guy. Ow. A little bit quicker to kill, I guess, but not a whole lot, being honest. So, like I was saying, with the, uh, with the traders, the nice thing is that once you're inside, it's pretty much... Very secured. Um, there's no zombies inside of it. You don't have to worry too much. But they close their doors and kick you out at night. Makes it very hard to stay too long. Right? I'm going to sell stuff, then I'm going to loot in here, sell back anything else we find, and kind of go from there. If Hello there. Here to buy, Let me see your inventory. Selection of medicine in the wasteland. Um, what do you give me for these? Sell price, not bad. Sell those. Um, no sell price for the blood bags, unfortunately. Those are pretty good. 
Some oil? Oh yeah, oil's pretty expensive too, that's nice. Those aren't bad. That's pretty good. Coal, also kind of good. Oh, there's a limit to how much I can sell there, right? Uh, how about these wire cutters? Cool. Oh, they want some rotten flesh? No, apparently not. Apparently she doesn't have enough. How about tires? Okay, tires are... Dang, huh? That. All right. What do you have to sell, lady? What about this? This is a secret stash stuff. Right now I have 600 um, tokens. But I can't really buy a lot of stuff. I don't think I'm taking the secret stash from the old afford. I can afford some stuff, but what's a structural brace over tools? Lowers degradation. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, I could just almost afford an anvil if I really want to stretch my stuff and sell stuff. How much for these? Really, I will sell these for that much. Um, yeah. Some stuff requires like anvils and stuff like that. So I, I might, I'm going to hold on to that for right now before I buy it. Uh, I just want to look at what else we have that I can get from her. Which, too much. Gunpowder, oil, this is all building stuff. Okay, this is mods and reading materials. Art of mining. Craft a black strap, a super strong coffee. Oh, sorry about that. Reflex sight, I can learn how to make that. Uh, what else you got here? AD, different types of ammunition. An impact driver, huh? What does this do? Great for disassembling mechanical devices like cars, air conditioners, and more. Hmm, a little bit expensive for me though. I could get a flashlight. I think I can modify that on the guns and stuff, which is nice. Uh, food, not much. Chest armor there. Okay. I think what I do want to do, I think I'll get the anvil. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and buy that anvil. That'll help out with some various things. We don't have much else that I can really get here. Flashlights are way Remember out of my me price range. Need medical supplies. All right, so now let's go ahead and loot what we can inside this area. In fact, let me, uh... All right, I can't break anything in here, I forget. Okay. We'll loot all the trash and stuff we can find. See if we can get anything else that I can sell her. It'd be very nice to be able to. There's some zombies out there. Not gonna be anything really on the walls. Not to worry too much about that. We have blueberry plants here, huh? What about this fire? You got anything in this fire? Doesn't look like it. Did I search this trash? I did. So we got these vending machines, which, uh, right. Can I sell the vending machine? Looks like I can. I don't want anything from there, though. Forge. Ooh, we got some forged iron. That's not bad. What do we got here? Betting machine rental. Hmm. Sure. How about this chem station here? What do we got in here? Anything good? Some plastic, huh? Workbench? Not getting really anything good. I like some skill books. Very helpful. I know there's nothing on top of this water tower, so I'm not going to even bother. Actually, I'm pretty sure the zombies can't even break into this area. Nice. Perfectly safe during the day if we need a breather. But not that it matters too much. 
Is there anything on this roof? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Get rid of this rotten flesh. Eat these blueberries. Grab everything we can. Forged iron, keep those pipes. Grab those. Unfortunately, we didn't really get much. I want to save the tire because I'm not sure how rare the tires are quite yet. But we hold on to that. Um, actually, right now, I think I can make more stone arrows. Go ahead and do that, which should free us up. We'll have to wait for our, our brass to finish destroying here. One more second. There we go. Grab those babies. That'll free us up a little more, make us a little bit faster. All right. That's everything looted here. Let us get out and head back home. We'll drop up what we got, and we will try to loot some more places. We may not go back to the bear den tonight. Uh, might not be a thing. For now, I would at least like to get ourselves another place looted. I'm going to clear this place out here. Also, looking at the map, I didn't really see much around. I might try to go a little bit south, actually. But I would like to find a place to set up camp, like full camp, you know. Not like what we've done here, you know. Once we have a place that we can call our own, it can be good. Actually, hold on. Okay. I think in order to actually prevent zombies from respawning inside of a building, you need to place down a land claim block. Which they used to have be required to be made out of tungsten, which was a uh, bit of a pain to get. Now that it's not tungsten that you need, it, but normal stone, it's, it's so much better. Also, I don't like how I have to go down to the basement of this place every single time I want to drop stuff off. Be a little annoying, you know? It is a good safe place in the city for right now, but there's better places, right? Okay. That's everything I want to drop down for right now. Now we're nice and fast again. Um, yeah, let's spend today, instead of looting, let's instead find a new place to live. Like a permanent building to live in. We are getting to the point where we need inventory space. We need a place to call our own. We're going to have to place down a forge soon. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, after you placed on a forge, you can't pick it back up. Unless they changed it. But I don't want to risk it. So we're just gonna do what we can. Go. Nope. Hopefully this thing will last us. Uh, clearing out the building that we find. Because if it doesn't, we're gonna be in trouble. If I did not bring anything else to melee with. Except for our default stone thing. I guess I could make just another wooden club quite easily, couldn't I? Yeah, I kind of want to aim south of the trader a good ways. Like, not too far, but just, like, far enough to where the town will respawn. But I'm also able to just go to the trader whenever I want. Hey, the skull on scope! There is a building over there. 
like one a little further this way. That one. Eh. Get a little bow practice in, shall we? That was a miss, somehow? Go, hit him with that one. Are you running now, man? Kinda sketchy, ain't it? The uh, little bit of lag I'm getting is not helping, though. We got him. We got him, boys. Get my arrows back. Okay. Where am I at so far? Okay, we're getting there. Uh, basically, anywhere around here would be great. Maybe right there. Take a look at that structure. Oh, that's a biker. Crap. We got a lot of hell. And I was running out of time. Aim. Fire. Oh my god. They do a lot of damage too. Reload! Reload! Come on! Come at me! Reload. Run! Run or reload! I don't care which! Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Why am I so bad at this game? Where'd the biker go? Is that him? I think it is. Okay. He does not want to die. At least he stopped running at me. Here we go. He's dead. He did give a lot more experience than the other guys did, so that was nice of him. How am I going now? I don't want to go this way. Where am I at again? Right here. I'm moving towards me, man. Does seem like a very nice house, potentially. Not even a house, is it? Like a uh, nature stand or something. That's a house, though. Take some pills. Okay. Maybe we set up shop here. Oh, military truck. That seems like this place is promising then. Shit. Of course. Why am I lagging like this? What is happening? What is going on? Hmm? Task manager? I don't, I don't even, like, understand what, what is happening. My, uh... GPU is not maxing out. My CPU is not maxed. My memory is not maxed. What is going on? Hmm? Hmm? Ah... Uh... It was weird. It was like, for some reason, everything just decided to wrap itself or something. I don't know. Well, let's try to kill this guy. I hit the dirt. Took him a while to get back up. That was nice. Excellent. All right. We are screwed, though. This thing is going to break in, like, a minute. Actually, wait. 
I'll need to repair kitchen repair, don't I? Military truck. Of course, it didn't have anything worthwhile in it. There's that. And drink some water. All right. What's do we got in here? Oh, there's a uh, foul trash up here. Okay. Let us try and actually uh, kill some zombinos quietly. This time around, huh? Like that guy. Go. I worry about looting this place later. Right now, I just want to clear it. Other gal didn't wake up. Should be able to take her out. Single shot. Blunt. Let me see if I can get my arrow back. Clear the rest of the perimeter here. guy out. Stop getting up, sir. There we go. Okay. Now let's clear the inside. Hmm. Computer hard drive. I feel like going down there is risky. Yep, because I see that asshole there. Oh no, can't aim down there. As soon as I jump down, it's gonna wake up, I'm pretty sure. Can I get a shot on it? Nope. Okay, raw. Carefully. Got it. Nice. All right. Now we can move this place without having to worry too much. How did I get there? A bottle of water. Yeah, sure. What do we got here? Apt. I don't like the sound of that at all. What? what? How? Where did you come from? This guy's stuck. That's nice. Come on, sir. The weapon does not have long. The weapon is gone. Okay. Got him. I don't know. Seriously, they just like dropped in from above? Not all right. All right, what we got? We got machine gun part. Not bad. Scrap advanced armor tools and weapons to acquire these items. Steel arrowheads. I'll go ahead and just scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap those. Uh, scrap boots. Go ahead and wear those. Scrap these cowboy boots. Hunter's Journal 4. Do more damage against mountain lions. Sure. We also got Grandpa's Moonshine. 
Increased melee damage, stun resist. Health by 600, holy crap. Insane. How's my food right now? Okay, I can use this. Take that. Take that. Water is pretty much maxed. Good there. Got these iron arrowheads as well. I'm gonna need this chrysanthemum. Okay. Um. You know what? Let's take the soup. It just got really dark in here. I'm not sure I approve of that. Aha! Hey, a new lockpick. How's it going? Uh, Meraldris? Is that how your name's pronounced? I don't know. I'm bad at names, man. Why did it get so dark in here? I guess this lamp went out? Much easier to break through this door, I guess. Um, no, it's not because of that, huh? It's got like all dark. Well, this place doesn't seem too promising for a uh, base. Not nearly big enough. But I will craft a chest real quick. Bullets, actually. Thank you. Okay. Everything else I don't need right now. So we're good. Ah, bummer. All right. So this has been cleared. Um, wooden club. Can I make a wooden club? I can. One. Place that with the wooden club here, and we'll go over and. Roy or claim this house of my own. Why? Why is it lagging? Never before have I lagged while playing this game, so it's gotta be because I'm streaming, because YouTube, YouTube Studio, and Twitch app are just hogging resources, I guess. Okay. So we've got stone wall structures here. Thing. Door unlocked, it is. Okay. Knock. Nah. That roof's gone. Not great. Oh, there's a zombie, I think. There's one all as well. Let's back away. Oh. oh my god. Let's pause for a moment. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Nope, we're leaving. Mm. Man, that lag was not okay. There's a why? I don't get it. So, oh, sir, would you kindly die? Okay. 
he's taken care of. Now we just gotta do the guy around the wall. Surprised he didn't wake up. You dead or are you still alive? Yeah, you're dead. Okay, good. Zombie in there. Crap. Close that dang door. Ugh. You know what? I got an idea. Hold on. Boop. All right. Now that that is closed, surely my GPU will be able to keep up with uh, the game and not crash completely, huh? Not stutter, at least. Already a little smoother. So... Maybe you just really did not like my YouTube studio being open. Huh. Ooh, a flashlight schematic. We'll use that. Okay. Some sort of a wine cellar down here, huh? Is that a zombie or a corpse? Could really be anything, huh? Can't tell quite yet. So hard to tell. It's a zombie. Got him. Possibly one more zombie behind here. They like to do this. I guess not. All right. Oops, I almost destroyed these medical supplies. All right. Perfect. Yeah, this seems like a nice home. A minute. All right. Oh my god. There's a another door. And another hatch? What is this? What? I guess I might have been able to just see it from there. I accidentally doing that. What is this place? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely our new home. I feel like I'm gonna get like trapped. There's gonna be like a trap somewhere with all these doors. This room concerns me. Got an idea. I'm gonna get a hatch out. We're gonna place it there just in case we have to fall back. We can fall back to here. My arrow's back, please. Clear this room first since it's the smaller areas. Oh. There's a ladder here. Leads up to here. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. Oh. We got there. 
get him here. Got him. Nice. All right. I think I just saw a hand move through that door. Um, okay. I don't see anyone underneath the steps. I think I'll retreat for now. Back up. Oh, I didn't even notice that there. Oh, there's spoiled trash. Just some sand. The greatest. But, all right. All right, so let's go back out through here. Careful. Never know where zombies might be coming from. Oh boy, we got a lot of body bags here, don't we? Okay, that one's down. That door's blocked, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Another one right there. Got him. Any more in this little area? Looks like it. And that door's locked, so that's the final area we're going to be getting to, it looks like. Oh my god, there's even an area up there. Oh my god. Okay, well, that door's locked and blocked. I'll ignore that one for now. Problem is, if I take this place to be my own, I'm going to have to knock down those locked doors at some point. Or at least pick lock them. That'll be the trouble. This is a real nice looking place to stay though. Shit. Got him. That arrow just exploded on impact. I think I saw another one over there, yeah. There's one more there as well. Can I get around this side? Not waking him up. Can. Come on, come on. Give me. Got him. Hell yeah. And let's get this scientist lady. I missed that one. Let's just clever face him. There we go. Okay. There's another zombie somewhere who woke up. Well, put him outside for now. We'll search through all this later. Right now, I just want to. Shit. Crap. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Fall down, lady. Fall down. Damn it, you guys. Come on. Okay, there's one down. Lady, you're next. Ah, here we go. Got her. All right. Okay. We need to repair this because it's getting to be bad for us here. Uh, I think I can uh, use it. Okay. Notch a new arrow. Clothing pile. That. That's that room. That room is there. There's this room here too, which I want to check out first. Bathroom. Oh, there we go. Not sure if that's glass, so let's shoot it from this way. Got him. Get that arrow back, thank you. Not a new one. Let's go. All right. Moving on here. Here, a zombie seems to be active somewhere. In the knee! You dick! I think I'll actually do this. Uh-oh. He's three now. Got him. Get wrecked, zomboy. Okay. 
think I see a foot there. Yep. Oh, this is a military zombie. It's gonna be rough. Oh, there's a hazmat boy there. Oop. Let's go back up a little. Boop and boop. Hey, good luck. Good luck. My defense is impenetrable. I know I said that, but it seemed like it wasn't fun. He's dead. Let's uh, tear this out. Yep, he's down. How did you get back here, big boy? You not, though? Oh my god, guys, listen here. Dead. You're next, lady. Where are all these zombies coming from? Can't hit her. There we go, hit your leg. Hit, she's down. Sneak attack you? I don't think I can, but. Try it. You're going right between his legs. Can you not get through there? Oh, nope, he is. Okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Feel like that's all the zombies. Nope. First was one more. Should I continue being stealthy? Okay. And he's dead. Perfect. And I got a stun baton schematic. Excellent. Well, cool. All right. Perfect. This shall be my new laboratory. <laughs> All right, let's begin looting. Plenty of stuff to loot here. Let's do that before we get interrupted or anything. We've got some good stuff here. I did not expect this uh, house to be as lucrative as it turned out to be. I was expecting just a simple house, but I guess that military outpost outside makes sense now. All right, let's see. When in combat, health recovers one hit point with every punch. Huh, I wonder if that counts for melee or if it's just strictly punches. Probably strictly punches, knowing my luck. Okay. Not getting any beakers, which is unfortunate. Okay. Empty shelf, right. Crack a book. Nice. What we got here? Ooh, a uh, off-road vehicle headlight schematic. Use that. A reinforced chest. Locked. Hmm. I did level up through all of this. A couple of times, actually. So maybe I put a point in burglary tools. And then I was going to put one in Master Chef as well, right? Yeah. And I think from there I was going to continue going into uh, the clubbing. Stuff. All right, so now that I've done that, please work lockpick. Don't break on me. I think I only have one. Ooh, I got it. Oh, hell yeah. 
What did I get? Spear Hunter. Spears now do more damage. Okay. I got a boot mod that decreases fall damage, which is nice. So let's go ahead and wear these. Then, actually, hold on. Do this. This will be easier, right? Modify. Slap that on there. Sweet. And we'll wear these, and now I can just scrap these scrap boots. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, I got gold nuggets. Nice, I can sell that to a trader. Shame I can't unlock this door, though. That is one thing that's not great. Okay. All right, so... I don't really think this is where I want my home to be. First, clear out this hole. Okay. So those are pretty strong. But the rest of those were very, very weak. Good thing I decided to destroy those. Last there. Alright, so let's make a couple of storage chests. Two of them. And I guess I'll just set them down. Put one here. And one there, why not? That'll work. All right. Let's store everything that I don't need right now. Every single thing here. Really? I mean, really, I want to go ahead and get rid of all this, too. Oh, I got seven of those bad boys, huh? Okay, nice, nice. Okay, repair, repair. So now that I have a bunch of lock picks, can I not use them on this? Oh, that's a shame. Which means I'm going to have to go through 7,000 door damage. Okay, well. That's some free corn. Oh, that's a corn on the cob recipe. Use that, baby. All right. It is almost nighttime. It is not great. I'm going to close this door. And we'll be staying the night here for today. And we'll just take this time to loot and do what we can to make this place our new home. Also, there's a hidden floor here. This was some trash, though, so we're going to clean that up. Land claim block. Crap. All right. Get some cloth from these. Some metal from this. up all we can here. The beds were hiding there, huh? Birch shoes. Okay. Only other stuff that could be hidden here as well, so definitely check it out. This floor is all weak. It can be rebuilt better. That stuff should all be reinforced already, so that's good. Um, that. All right, now we can search the medical cabinets in here and the toilet. Ooh, was that a potato seed? 
all, baby? Hell yeah. That's pretty sturdy. All right, so we got a nice little bathroom here. Doesn't seem I can get back out this way, though. Fortunate. I'll have to build up. That's fine. One more. There we go. All right. Definitely a lot of stuff here I did not loot before, so loot all this goodness. Clean up the floor a bit. Countertops, of course. These old toasters and appliances we can salvage in order to get Electrical components as well, which would be helpful. Those. No, never mind. That. This place definitely is more light, though. I don't say that much. Okay, so I think I want to place the land claim block here. Okay. Hopefully this will prevent any zombies from respawning in this area. Because if not, then we're going to have a bad time. Something hidden back there. Not that I can see very well to tell if there is or not, but... I'll come back for these blue ones later. The blue ones require shovels to actually efficiently get them, so... So I'm leaving them alone for now. Okay. Hopefully that door's unlocked. That door's a blocked one that I can't get into. Alright, it's time for a disgusting bit. Get rid of the bodies. We'll get bones and plastic from it and some nitrate, I guess. But not great. Also get some rotten meat too. Mmm, rotten meat. Gotta love those squelching sounds, man. Wait, did I just get... Hmm. I don't know if it was just random that I got that animal cat there. I don't know. Break these gurneys. Okay. That's all that cleared. Nope, need to repair it. Hold up. Let's real quick go through and salvage what we can to make room, and I'm going to go ahead and just drop this rotten meat. There's literally no purpose other than to get in the way. What's this? Yucca seeds. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't like that I can't really tell where stuff is right now. Way too dark. 
Here's some boxes I can get into. Yep. If there was anything in here, right? Yep. Okay, so let's go back up to the top. Perfect. Close that hatch for right now. From above. Ah, oh, scared me for a second. Well, <clears throat> do my inventory real quick. I can move this down here. That way I have plenty of room and stuff. They're really just ashing stuff up there, huh? What is that? Like green. Is that a is that the bounding box? Uh, I want to go up there, but at the same time, it sounds like there's so many up there. And it's dark. Ah! <laughs> Close the door. Matt, mate. You cowards. Give it up. And then, hey, when they do this. Yeah, just, just kill me. Love to see it. Ugh. That's fine. Well, at least we have our home that we can now. Oh, I lost experience because I, I died. Lovely. Forgot I gained level six today, didn't I? Okay. That's everything. Near death trauma. Minor setback has created some experience of debt. Gain experience to work out the debt. Try not to die for a while. Great. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Can I make anything right now? Bandage, bedroll, yada yada yada. Can I make some duct tape. Ooh, I can make some pipe weapons. Pipe baton? Hmm. I already got a wooden club here, so let me get in here with that. A bucket. I don't have this yet. Okay. Well. We're just gonna hunker down and once again wait until night is over. Because uh, zombies are kind of assholes at night. We went down the difficulty by one when we uh, start again. Next time we log into the game, I'll put the difficulty down a little bit more. We are on harder, not even hard right now, so I'll, I'll take it down to hard. I was just kind of seeing what the difficulty levels were, you know. Uh, yeah. I guess while this is going on, what if I go into here, do this, add image, Browse for image. Since VTube Studio won't work, 
What if I go in here and add? Yeah, no, I, I think that would be not transparent. Hmm. I think I got this guy who is transparent. Yes. 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 See me on the screen now. Let's see if I can adjust this a little bit. I can move him down here. There we go. Perfect. Hi. Ah, yes. While I uh, cannot necessarily move or anything, I uh, uh, do have my guy on the thing now. That's the thing, right? Might edit a little more, move it to the uh, the right a little bit here. Save okay, that would be hell yeah. All right. Did I leave the door open? I did. Okay. Is there anything I can get rid of or scrap right now? Like make room. Otherwise, this is going to be a hell of a jog. Well, I should really close these doors anyway. There we go. Nice and closed. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Down. What am I lacking? I'm lacking stone to make a stone axe. Isn't there stone in these? There we go. One more stone, come on. There we go. Stone axe, crap. Move that stuff around a bit. I as well learn a little bit of experience while I'm just filling time here, right? I didn't realize, but they make the sound quieter when you're crouched. Interesting. Like you're hitting the thing any less quieter, right? Might as well get this uh, cobblestone while we're here. Hour 30 from it being day. We're getting a nice little bit of experience though at least. That's nice. Still haven't gotten what worth what one zombie kill is worth, no. We will in just a moment though. Need to repair. Here we go. And now we have one zombie kill worth of mining. Heck yes. Do I have a hammer or wrench on me right now? I do not. If I did, I was gonna try to scrap these, but I don't wanna waste it right now. Oh, I can get metal pipes from this. Oh yeah, let's go. Got more of them. Perfect. I'm gonna harvest next. I guess we'll just go this one. I had a shovel. Can I make a shovel? Hold up. I can make a shovel. Um, craft it. But I. Can't place it anywhere quite yet. Um, let's just toss away the nitrate. Okay, double time. 
so much quicker. Love it. Come on, man, you left it. Bam! Another zombie kill worth of experience. Knock all this down. I don't want to touch any of that because that'll prevent you from getting up top side. Because it doesn't really matter necessarily. Since you can just break through the door upstairs. But regardless. Okay. That's that for the dirt. Keep mine this way. Oh my god, that red bar, that's my experience bar at the top, has to go down before it'll start going up again. Ah, oh, death sucks so much! That's like four zombie kills or something, man. Alright. Should only be another minute or so before we get daylight and we can start going back towards our, our new base. <coughs> Excuse me, goddamn. Also, I forgot to check where that hatch leads that goes up. Oh, that's fine. While we still have some nighttime left, so we don't waste any daylight, uh, I'm going to get rid of some stuff that's not necessary, so we can move a little bit faster. However, a seed, I want to keep that. I don't need pine cones, those will come later. Uh, let's move some stuff down here. That way I'm a little bit faster. Um, that was my hunger and stuff. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I might as well just drink this now. this empty bottle. Uh, sort of broken glass. This one blood bag. Let's get rid of this one blood bag. I don't need that. Okay. Use this charred meat as well. And you know what? I'm just going to scrap this cooking pot. I already have one. At the new place. So... Everything we've gotten, we're good. I'm gonna move this bed back down here, though. Okay, let's go. I don't have any ranged weaponry, but that's fine. Hmm. This base is not as far to the east as I wanted it to be. That's fine. We'll just run our happy little butts down there. Once we're at about 30 stamina, I'll stop running so we can just regen it. We have a little extra in case we run into a zombie or something. Yes. That is an egg, not bad. Free wood. Why is it dark? It's supposed to be day. Oh, because it's raining, of course. Excellent. Oh, I'm getting cold, huh? And that's some spooky light. Keep making our way down towards here. So eventually we'll have, like, vehicles and stuff. So we won't have to worry too much about how far we are, but... Also, with the mini bike, you actually have a storage and stuff on your vehicle as well, so it's really nice. 
house there we could have moved into that was actually closer than what we were before, but that's fine. It's all right. Bird nest. Ha 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 ha! Hello there. Alright, skinny. You should die. There you go. Alright. We are nearing our new base. Okay. So it looks like the bounding box pretty much has the whole thing in it. It is a little bit shy of this side, though. Touch the sedan here. But the main issue is the the downstairs. That's the uh, the hard part. To deal with. Okay. So when we died, we were here, right? We're downstairs. Zombies that attacked me are gone, of course. So since we are currently full on our inventory right now, I'm not going to grab that um, loot yet. Instead, what I'll do is I'll go all the way around. I'm going to turn the bounding box off now. Oops. Pull the gun down there. And then we can go into our storage area, which I don't know why it's getting rained on here. That's kind of odd. But uh, we can then store everything in here that can possibly fit. How much? There, and then the next chest we can start filling up. I don't really need to hold anything in my inventory for right now. And I'll just go ahead and put the sleeping bag here since uh, we have it there. So next, let's go ahead and check out where this leads to. Oh, there's a nice little hole right in the ground there, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. So grab my loot. Take all. Excellent. Okay. So, let's continue to what I was doing before. We're going to finish looting this house. And we'll go back downstairs. We got cement up here. Can I build a shovel? Nope, not from this. Get rid of the piles of garbage that are around here. Clean this place up, make it look nice. I'll leave that pile of stuff standing there just because I can't really get rid of the middle stuff without getting rid of the top stuff, so all that good there. Clean up behind the stairs a little bit. Hey, leveled up. Nice. I'm not sure how I leveled up, but okay. Didn't think I gained that much experience. So, take the moment to level up here. So I think what we wanted to do next is we wanted to focus on getting, like, Pummel Pete stuff, right? So we're just going to put our points into strength for right now until we can get the next level of it. And then, of course, we will finish looting this house, cleaning it up, making it look nice. And, of course, repairing our axe here again. 
I always do that. I never realized that those are things you can lose on the ground first. I can't believe they broke down my door. How dare they? I'm gonna have to replace that. Actually, I'm probably gonna put a wall there, to be completely honest. That out real quick. We don't really have a good number of things here, huh? Remove this trash from the ground. That. Hmm, we got some tokens. Nice. Refrigerator. Get some parts for that. Okay. All that stuff. Get rid of the furniture. That chair, take that. That. Cabinets there. Aha! Foul trash behind that wall, huh? Secured. I think I looted this the first time I came here. Okay. And that's everything in this house looted now. Alright, excellent. Let's just go back down to our layer. Not that closing those really does anything, but uh, I'm going to close them anyway. Oh, the garbage pile thing. Alright, so what about in here? Was there anything? Because it was darker before, so I had a hard time seeing it. Those aren't coming down. Okay. That all we can. Get us back to here. And that whole area has already been cleared and cleaned. I can use my handy dandy wrench to get some stuff from that. Clear up these dirty appliances, you know. Okay. Alright. Jump on down here. That piece that's weakened. Everything else has been searched here. Oh, I didn't search this locker. Lock, of course. So there is still a little more that can be done uh, in terms of cleanup work around here. Uh, there's also this place, which is going to be just a huge hazard for the zombies when they come down. It's, it's going to be a pain to deal with. But for now, let's just store what we have, scrap what we need to, and kind of figure ourselves out and what we're doing now, right? Okay. I'm going to scrap these potted plants. I don't know what they're going to give me, but I'll scrap them anyway. Uh, what do we want from here? So give me my bone shield. Give me this stuff. Uh, give me an anvil, my hatches. Posterone extract. Okay. Um, let's see. Give me the cooking pot, those frames. Go ahead and scrap those. I think I need plastic to make duct tape. Give me my stone and my wood. Do a quick sort real quick so I just have a better view of what I'm doing here. Um, murky water, grab that, grab that. In cans, I can go ahead and transform them into wood as well. 
Everything else we need. Next chest. My gun. Take my building blocks. Put my glue. My clay. Uh, I need my leather. A couple cooking pots. Hands I can convert. Need the pipe. What do I need to repair this? Short iron pipe. Nice. Okay, I can take this then. I can actually repair it. Excellent. Uh, let's take more bones. Do I have any glue in here? Or plastic? Okay. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, what do I need for the forge? Right now, I need duct tape. So, duct tape. I just need three, so I'll only craft three for right now. Next, we'll craft the forge. And while that's crafting, I'm going to destroy this bed. I don't need stuff that looks like it has blood on it in my area. Go ahead and... I'm going to get rid of these cardboard boxes. They're just kind of odd-looking. go. Okay. Forge only has a couple more seconds here. And it's done. We will plop down the forge right here. And I have an anvil, right? Where did I put it? Okay, it's in my inventory, of course. Bam. Anvil's down. So, I can now... Make forged iron, or normal iron, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this. And we will go ahead and take like half of my iron, put it in here. Um, let's also take my lead and put it in here. And let's turn this bad boy on. Now stuff will start cooking down. And when it starts cooking down, it'll like kind of amass the resources in the furnace for us, which is nice. I put the ergonomic grip on that. And heck yeah. Here we go. Give my nice little tonk there. Go ahead and just scrap that. I don't need that anymore. Flip that up real quick. Alright, what else do I have? Let's sort this. Um I have glass. I have rotten flesh, which I can just dispose of right away. Oil shale. Oh, I didn't even realize I got that. Got that. That can be melted down. But there was brass in there, I saw it. There we go. Um, we have lead pellets, which are important, but not important yet. Sand can be turned into glass. Do I need clay? I forget. Yep, clay needs to go in here as well. So let's combine those. I'll just toss my brass in here as well. Then I can store the rest of the stuff that I don't really need here. Store the glue, glass, the components, the cloth, plastic. Okay, now I need to make a campfire. And then I can use the campfire and I think I will just put it here and put my things here. And you know what? I'm going to actually just drag off these two. I'm just going to scrap these down because they'll be just turned directly into the steel. It would be nice. And then I can take more of my wood, put it here. Now I can make some glue. Alright, anything that I can turn into food, I'll take right now. And I'll see what I can make real quick like. Seeds. Okay. Turn 
Wait, I will. All right, so I can make goldenrod tea, coffee, grilled water, make more glue, which I might as well do. Mm. I'll make my goldenrod tea as well. I'll also make some coffee. Or on the cob. Everything requires boiled water. Yeah. Okay, how's this cooking coming? Not bad, not bad at all. A little surely, as I do. I'm finish cleaning this stuff up though. Lost this there. Mm. My inventory. Gross. Bone shovel requires three plant fiber, okay. Craft it. I can just toss that back away. Hmm. We filled up water sources using the secondary action. Okay. Or if I had snow, I could also use it. So let's reorder my inventory quick. I need to make sure I have what I need and all that. Work it out. Okay. Got the building blocks there. Got the hatches here. Speaking of, I should make a couple more hatches just to have some. Got a shovel here. I think I can store these bones away. And the plastic, and the leather, and the glue. This stuff can all be thrown into the furnace. I'm going to save the pipes. Okay. How are we looking here? Still cooking. Got about a minute. This stuff has a while left on it. Is this a water source? Hey. Hey. Fill me up. Damn it. Okay. Well, there was a bathroom over here, right? It'd be really nice if I could have like a water source, like somewhere here, right? How about these? No? Damn. I think those are the only places that uh, actually have a water source down here as well. But while that stuff's going on, I can at least start meleeing this door, trying to break it down, right? Ideally, I want to be able to move freely out through this door. Uh, it's going to take so long with Zax, though. Okay, turn this off so it doesn't waste any wood. I'm still going. Alright, how am I looking in terms of these resources? So my food is a little low, my... I forgot I can look down there as well. Um, okay, so I need to eat a little bit. So let's go to my charred meat. We'll use one. Since I used that, we're a little bit thirsty now, so we'll use the goldenrod tea. Perfect. I'm gonna store the coffee here. Put the goldenrod tea there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I just want to get through this door. That's all I want to do today, please. How are we looking here? Hmm. What am I thinking of here? I love the spikes that I want. There were some, like, larger spikes that I remember in the game. Did they remove those? 
Kill some traps. Let's see. Boost board blocks. Okay. Maybe I don't know the recipe for it yet or something? Maybe I need a workbench for it? I don't know. Huh. I guess for right now all I can make is wood spike traps. Fortunate. Okay. Actually. Maybe I should uh make some of those. Huh. Only five. Okay. So the seventh day horde. That comes on the night of the seventh, right? So we need to get. Oh, there's an airdrop. We need to get to a place in which we'll have a, a safe area, right? And this bunker, since there's just a ladder that goes down here, is not that safe for a horde. So I'm gonna use this up completely. Okay. Pair of that. Um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this clay in here. I'm gonna take this and put this lead in here. That way we can at least start doing that. Throw that away. All right, let's go check out that. Thought I heard like a uh, animal. Okay, so we have a Airdrop over this way. So we'll go check that out today. That'll be our, our outdoor excursion. But as I was saying, my plan for the Seventh Day Horde is I think we'll use the like military tower as our horde event thing. That way they're not going to be trying to dig through the holes in the floor and they're not going to mess up the the main base area right so we'll see how that goes I hit this guy Reptastic. come on man stop moving i need that experience got him Why are you running Why are you running sir oh it's day So you have too much health, first of all. Okay, moving on. Ooh, that's free purse. Oh, we got some money. Nice. Yeah, so I'll try to use that military uh, tower outpost thing as where to kind of handle the horde from. And... I'll try to spike trap that baby up and all that good stuff. But the problem is uh, the way the horde spawns is off of a heat map kind of thing. So wherever you've been like building or spending a lot of time or making a lot of noise, the horde will spawn around there. It means it's going to spawn around the main base. Which is not ideal. I want the goldenrod flower, please. Thank you. Used to be able to just like go around and hit E on it to pick it up, but not anymore. Okay. He's dead. Where was the thing at? There it is. A lot of zombies around. But that is fine with me because it is just day we're gonna take it and leave what was this a bundle of random books okay we got one antibiotic and some random books that's not great sometimes you can get like guns and ammo in them good armor and stuff but i guess they just want to give me books and antibiotics for when i'm gonna get infected here because i'm an idiot Let me tell you, it is so much easier to play this now that I'm not, like, lagging. I 
Okay. In fact, I could probably turn up the difficulty. Not difficulty, the, uh, the graphics is what I meant. What do we get, though? We got a harvest more from all ores when buzzed on coffee. Okay. We got craft a stun repulsor mod for stun batons and send zombies flying when hit. Sure. And did you know... Learn how to break into safes much easier. Do 10% more damage to safes. Well, that's nice, but all we really got was the antibiotics. But that that's okay. Antibiotics is still, like, life-saving when you need it. Also, I'm going to get some cotton. Because we can eventually plant that. So it'll come in handy. And we do need more wood anyway, so... Why not? I'm also going to chop down an actual tree so I can get some saplings. Some seeds, anyway. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Did I get any seeds for that? I did. Do this one too. Alright. Oh, I already get this nest. I did not. Excellent. The uh, the red flower, the chrysanthemum or whatever the hell it is, uh, it's only used for dye and paint stuff, I think. So I don't like it. In my inventory. This tree should be good. Oh, yeah. Walking around the tree while you hit it so you can be on the lookout for any zombies. Also, I found a bird's nest. Yoink. Just feathers, though. There we go, there's an egg. Okay. Five hundred wood, not not ideal, but I can make twenty five spike traps. I'll cut down another tree. Okay, we're almost home. That's perfect. Oh, uh, cancel that then. Right, it's a priority to crafting. All right, another bird nest. Nice. It'd be really cool if you could like. Take bird nests and place them around a base, like raise birds or something, you know. Because there are chickens, right? Maybe later on. I mean, we are still an alpha, even though we have been an alpha for like ever. But yeah. Oh, I forgot some glass here. Also, I can use my shovel now, and uh, let's get this first. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and just fill up any holes that we have in the foundations and stuff, you know? Make it look nice. This is our gonna this is gonna be our, our home, you know. Alright, shovel cement. Back to the axe for the boxes, and back to the shovel for a bit. Yeah, I'll go this way. So I can get all the resources and stuff that I've been missing. Okay.
Yonk. Alright, I'm gonna have to reopen all these doors now. I'm just gonna leave all these open. Once they're past this particular level, it doesn't matter too much, I guess. They're not gonna be using that hatch anyway. If the zombies are smart, they're gonna be going after my uh, other tunnel. Which I hate being there. Oh my god, I forgot to dismember that body right there. Go. I'll also have to knock down that door at some point. Anything out here he left? Nope. Now, I could leave that door like it is and not knock it down, but having to go around like this in order to get Everything that I want is kind of annoying. I think I would just like to remove it, you know. Also, we need to patch up this floor at some point. And having a easy way to do that would be great. So, boop. I can't patch up. <clears throat> I can't patch up that floor until I can get through this door here. And I mean, I could go through these windows, but I think they're reinforced windows, which means they're even harder to get through than the door. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Let's throw in our sand here. Then I will... Golden rod seed. I still don't have living off the land. Whatever. Oak seeds, okay. Hold on to these for right now. For the rest of this stuff. Perfect. Some money in there too. Alright, how are we looking here? Still moving that stuff around, okay. Let's repair that. Excellent. Huh. Maybe it would be more efficient to use the wrench on this door. But the thing is, I can't repair it unless I have a repair kit. And a repair kit, I need four iron and duct tape. Ooh, can I actually make that? Hold up. Uh, plastic and glue and forged iron. So, duct tape. Oh, I need cloth, not plastic. Okay. There we go. Now duct tape. Make all of it. Oh, I can. Let's go ahead and just make all the repair kits we can. Thirty forged iron for a freaking baseball bat. Insane. Okay. I'm kind of trying to wait for that fan to finish. I really hope this is not a reinforced door. Out of stamina. Wait for stamina regen by looking at the fire. Oh right, I need stone in here as well. Okay, put my brass in there now. Okay. At storage box, wood and. Nails, huh? I can make nails. I can also make rocket casings and tips. <laughs> Eventually. We got brass, brushed sand, forged iron, iron, short pipe and nails. We got glass blocks, 
iron stuff, we got buckshot, all that. Got cooking grill, which I'll make one of actually. Thank you. And then let's make like 20 nail, 20 nails. No, guys, 20, there we go. I can put this cooking grill here and it'll allow me to make grilled meat and stuff like that. Back to the door. I think today I'm gonna focus on trying to get this base set up a little better by getting doors knocked down, stuff like that. At least that way I have a nice flow through it and I don't have to worry too much about where I loot and stuff like that, you know? And then I'm gonna get settled in here and tomorrow we can go back to looting stuff. So, all right, write a little storage box. Craft. We're gonna split this clay in two now. That way it goes faster. Break down. One more hit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just gonna get rid of these counters and put boxes here. So let's go and rename this one. I'm gonna call this one healing. This one I will call foods. Now I can kind of sort some stuff out here. So anything that is healing or food, I'm gonna to try to move over to there. Also, let me just get rid of this rotten flesh because it's annoying me. Okay, so uh, pumpkin, meat, that, 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 that. Uh, I guess beans technically, that. That's food. Technically that's food, or not food, that, that could be healing as well. Healing, 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 healing. Okay, sort that again, and up here now. Healing, healing. What does this do? I don't know what this does. You take it. Does it tell me now what it does? I can use it for a cigar or is that, huh? Okay, well, back in there you go. Those are seeds. I have more coffee beans here. That's all. Okay, so food. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. And boop. Okay, and healing is boop, 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 boop. Boop. Perfect. Okay. So that stuff is put away and good now. I just have these chests here, which I don't think I can need, right? I can just enter a code or unlock and stuff like that. Okay. So if I wanted to, I could do a little more sorting, but for right now, I think we'll just hold off and not do that quite yet. Okay. Now we have easily just some areas to do that kind. Oh my god, of course it's that much, huh? Well, I guess that's going to live there for now. Uh, but let's move our bed a little bit. I'd like to kind of be in a different, kind of out of way position. Put it there. there go. Excellent. It's still working on that. Okay, well, whilst that works, let's go ahead and start knocking down this door. Keep going until it uh, finishes here. Okay, there we go. We can repair this now, though. Easy. Go a lot faster than using the uh, stone hatchet, you know. Mm. 
Okay. Go check on the campfire while we're waiting for our stamina to regen. It's still going. Full of Shirley. I guess I could make some more nails. Could also make some iron arrowheads, start getting iron. Or just make bullet tips. Oh. It does? Right, we are now halfway through. Okay. Man. If you're hungry, your maximum stamina is reduced. That's lame. Are we still going? Okay. Well, let's use some of these. I'll need a drink now as well, so... Another charred meat, please. I might actually have to use all my charred meat. Ah. Another one. And uh, another goldenrod tea, please. I'll deal with that for now. It's not too bad now, at least. Thank God the wrench makes this easier. Almost there. One more hit. I'll add one more. There we go. All right, now our whole area is nice and open. Which means I can also patch up this uh, area here. And I can use my... Wait, what? Does the wrench not repair anymore? Maybe the hammer does, I guess. Okay, maybe I should have kept the hammer. I'm just gonna make this floor look nice. Out of wood. Rippy dippy. All right, well. How's this look? Oh, it's still going. Okay, well, I'll just eat another charred meat. Charred meat is really not great for you, being completely honest. I mean, look, it only does 10. It decreases your water. Just add all around. Grilled meat, though, on the other hand. <laughs> Grilled meat is great. It is the superior meat. As you can see, they still have 169 minutes left of fuel to go in the fire. Um, mm, yeah. Okay. So I think what I'll do... I'm just going to steal off the main room here from all the other edges. Perfect. Okay, so I think what I will do now is call things here. We're going to wrap up, and since it's almost night, what I think I will do is just babysit the forge here a little bit after we end stream. And I'm going to finish burning some stone and some more iron, get these filled up. And that's really all I'm going to be doing. Uh, I might make a couple more storage chests and sort some stuff. But I'm not going to be venturing out. And I'm not going to 
deal with any zombies. In fact, if any zombies show up, I'm going to quit the game immediately so that next time we'll be able to experience it together. Yeah. Those were irritating me. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out, watching and all that. Uh, if you missed any of this, the VOD will go up here in the next day or two. And uh, you can check it out there over on the YouTubes. And next time, we'll be continuing where we left off. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.